Hi. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? I'm back from Chicago. Now, mind you, I was back yesterday, but I was busy working with Lur all day. Oh my God. I got in at like three in the morning and then I had to get up at 6.30 in order to do back to back one more and then uh, nine o'clock after that. And then I thought originally I wanted to start playing um, Nightingale right now. I still have stitches in my left arm. I'm getting them out this afternoon. I'm so hyped. So I thought, hey, I'm still tired. Uh, I haven't fully recovered from, you know, what was a very long travel day. And I'm working with one and a half hands. So let's play what is quite possibly going to be my game of the year already. Let's play some Bellatro. Let's just, you know, vibe and play some card games and catch up, you know, low stakes, high stakes, fold them. I'm a very good poker man, as you can tell. So yeah. Hi, everybody. By the way, I got to meet a lot of you in Chicago, and that was so cool and so special. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody uh, who made Chicago such an amazing convention, because it was wild. It was absolutely wild. Speaking of wild, there's a lot of subs already. Uh, Dugma, thank you for the 54. Full House Jaeger, it's true. Alas Babylon, thank you for the 46. Six more months until I complete the deck. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, we got Fox with a Knife. Thank you for the 52. The full deck. <laughs> Considering redownloading Steam just so I can play this game. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, Ghost Valve, thank you for the 44. <laughs> Almost a year getting there. Uh, and Daniel out. Thank you for the three months. Enjoy your new bean. I can barely count to three. Oh, I can't even. I'm just going to trust you. You like vibes? Me too. Big friend. Do I understand when to hold them and when to fold them? No, <laughs> but I'm sure we can figure it out. Great meeting you in Chicago. I sat at your Lur Chaos table and you called me Benjamin. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, all right. In my defense. Okay, so HD Dabnado was like, you called me Benjamin. I'm looking across the table at what I can only describe as a smaller version of Ben. They're wearing the red flannel shirt. They've got a beard and everything. And so... <laughs> So what I did is I went up and I'm like, oh my God, Benjineering, so nice to meet you, big fan. <laughs> what up, Platinum Age? Oh man. No, so nice to meet everybody. Oh man, it was such an amazing convention. I, I, I overwhelmed, overwhelmed with all the love and support. I couldn't take three steps without somebody asking me to stop and like take a photo or something like that. And then as soon as I was done with that, I'd turn around and a queue had formed. It was it was unreal. It was absolutely unreal. Wish I could have gone. Uh, glad to hear it went super well. So they sold out. I think there was something like 13,000 people at this convention. I think this is the most successful Magic Con they have ever thrown. Uh, and it was so busy, they didn't have enough tables for people to play at. People were literally like making commander pods and playing on the floor. We did two meet and greets, like um, like scheduled times where all seven of us from Loading Ready Run were at, at one spot so like we could meet and greet. And they had to cap the lineup before we even started. Like at our 315 signing, I'm pretty sure they, st they capped signings at three. <laughs> like, sorry, we can't have any more people in line. And it's, that's wild. It's wild. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I am just so blown away. Uh, Zagrog, thank you so much for the 67. You two have been playing Bellatro? Amazing. All right. Uh, I'm going to try and play the video game, but I can also see us just chatting all day, and that's also fine. How are my scenes set up? I need to make me... I need to make me here for Bellatro, I think. I go here. I live in this corner now. You missed out on the schedule ones. A lot of people did. A lot of people missed out on the, on the signings, which I felt, um, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, thank you, right? Oh, as always, let me know how the volume is, how the video is. Uh, this is my first time streaming this game from this channel, even though I've streamed it from two other channels. So I could have something wrong. You never know. Mandifold, thank you for the 43. How do I feel about the speed with which magic is coming out right now? They could they could cool it. They could pump the brakes. Uh, there, there's a bit much, gonna be honest. All right, so I want to start unlocking stuff. 
win a run with any deck on the least red stake difficulty. What does what does what does difficulty mean? Any deck. So we're gonna play the green deck. And I need to do red stake. Small blind gives no reward money. Okay. All this hype makes me wonder when a Lurkon's gonna be viable. I mean, we've had a Lurkon before. Uh, you know, I don't get any money from this, so I'm just gonna skip this. Because this difficulty means I don't get money from it. So skip blind and kill. All right. You've only won one run so far. It was green deck. This game is great. All right, so I have hanged man. So I could kill two cards and wow, this is kind of a whiff otherwise. Wow, this is a really big whiff. Do we want? Do we try and make stone a thing? Let's try and make stone a thing. I've never really tried it before, but why not? Why not? Nothing else is good in my hand. Uh, I can go for a straight here. Or I can go for a heart flush. Flush is worth more than a straight. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who decided to show up. All right. Uh, I got it. I'm just going to see if I can get a higher hand. Oh, right. Maybe... Wait, I didn't win with that hand? Oh, buckets. Oh, buckets. Uh... <laughs> well, that's awkward. Probably should have done the math. This is really bad. All right, let's see if I can get another straight here. I mean, the other option is I could try and get another flush. Hey, we started really weak, everybody. Wow. Wow. Uh, none hands remaining. That's none money. I guess I was treating that like it was the first hand of the game when it absolutely isn't. So that's my B. Oofa. All right, Spectral, time for you to save me. Now, real quick, what is the the hook? Oh my God. This is so frustrating. I mean, yes, I guess I was supposed to buy a Joker first, huh? Like, I thought about buying this as well. There we go. All right. So let's see if we can win here. I'm going to go for the old full house Jaeger. I'm one card away from a straight. Uh, I am one card away from a flush. I'm one card away from a three of a kind here. Let's do this. Hello? What? house we might be dead uh i just like you to know right now uh that we might be dead <laughs> hey crooked penguin thank you very very much for the 29 oh i got lucky there it discarded it you know what i'll take that i'll take that um yeah this might just be a uh this might just be a restart here Right, I can't even try and set up a hand because it just discards everything. Oofa doofa. Warm up game. Yeah, no kidding. 
So like normally I try and play the hand and leave the two jacks, but like maybe maybe I do this and see if I get lucky. Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, GG everybody. Uh let's just let's just go to game 2. Good. All right, good. We're going to sit down. We're going to play the first game of the day, everybody. I'm excited. Oofa doofa. <laughs> hey, what's up Crooked Penguin? Thank you for the 29. Your sub is rapidly approaching an aging crisis, but we'll get through it. I look forward to it. All right, we're going to do the opposite this time. We're going to play this hand and skip this hand. All of the discarded cards were a pair. Nice. Nice. Uh. <laughs> hey, there we go. Full House Jaeger strikes again. Made a bit of money here because we're green. So I was playing last night. Wow. Uh, earn $1 at the end of round per unique planet card. Use this run. And it's foil. So it's a little bit unfortunate because I want to buy this, which is kind of greedy. But it doesn't do anything doesn't do anything right now and then I can't buy I mean it does give 50 chips that's fair but like normally I'd want to buy these right all right all right chat we'll buy it we'll buy it I've used none planets so far uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to give us more value than playing the hand so I'm going to take the double tarot here I'm going to take an Emperor, which feels good. Uh, and I'm going to destroy two low cards. Hi, sweetie. Yeah. You're going to discard two cards on me randomly? Do your worst. Oh, actually, that makes this steel card so bad. <laughs> I'm not going to use it. Just not going to bother. For what it's worth, I would have put it on the eight. Let's go for the flush here. Let's go for the uh, three of a kind jacks here. All right. Hey, guess what? We made it. So I was playing last night, and there's a joker that gives you $1 at the end of every round. And whenever you beat a boss, it gives you plus two. Hello? Hold on. Sorry. Anyways, yeah, it basically gives you, like, all of this money. Uh, and I got it on floor one. <laughs> Hello? Gives you $2 per discard if no discards are used by the end of the round. I mean, I'm just going to buy this because it's holographic. What's up, Ink Slayer? Uh, let's buy the standard pack. I don't get interest as this character. Or... I really need... Maybe I'll get a thing that gives me planets. <laughs> Sick! <gasps> Alright, well, we're skipping. That's for sure. Mega Buffoon? All right, man, sometimes, sometimes things get a lot better. Uh, get 2x multiplier for every $5 you have. We're taking this baby to the moon. So this gives me plus one discard, which is also more money, but earn $2 per discard if no discards are used by the end of the round. Uh, I don't know what that means. 
I mean, Full House Jaeger. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If I don't discard, I get six bucks. Yeah. I mean, this also just gets me more money. So, hold on. Uh, we want swashbucklers on the far right. There we go. I mean... <laughs> cool. Does this just win? And make me giga... Oh, I should have uh, used the chariot. All right, I won anyways. All right, so I get a million dollars. Hey, I level up three of a kind. All right, cool. Trying to get uh, all these. Joe did. Thank you so much. Yalk, uh, Yalk was amazing and made a bunch of... Sorry, one second. Full House Jaeger. Made a bunch of like adorable little wooden stained keychains and stuff. And also made a little bonus pack for JoJo. It's very sweet. The Fool. I'm normally kind of a big fan of The Fool. You know what? We're going to take The Fool. We're going to double chariot just because I really want to try and one shot the boss. Uh, and focus on these never using discards. Celestial's interesting. Celestial's very interesting. Uh, but I don't know what I want to build my hand around yet. Uh, play only one hand. Well, I, oh, shoot. It just made me the earth. Okay. Well, that's awkward. <clears throat> Can I win with two pair here? Let's do some math. Let's do some math. All right. So two pair uh, is, this is 10, 20, 34, 54 times two. All right. So 54 times two plus, uh, that's 104 times two. That is 154 times two. Now it's 154 times eight. And now it's 154 times 18. 154 times 30. That's 154 times 30 is about 450 uh, times 50%. I think if I put a, I think if I put a chariot on it, it one shots. Plus two for every five dollars you have. Uh, yes, plus two. So that'd be I have fifteen dollars. So that should be plus six. I think if I put a chariot on this, I just barely have enough. Uh, does anybody agree with that math or no? I'm off by an order of magnitude. Wait, oh, 150 times 30 is 4,500, not 450. Oh, <laughs> so what you're saying is, what you're saying is I'm fine. I uh, I got, I got 100, what you're saying is I did 150 times three, not 150 times 30. Okay. <clears throat> so my math was pretty good. I just did it wrong. <laughs> Hey, uh, hitting Ernest there is awesome too, because that gets me more money off of the satellite. Which doc? Which doctor? Which Joker would I replace? Uh, I mean, I could get rid of the drunkard. I'll check the jumbo pack just to see if there's something cool. That seems cool. Oh, that seems not cool. 
It gives me a 1.5x multiplier, but it gets worse. One in two chance to create a tarot card when I open any booster. That seems more exciting. Wait. 3x multiplier if I have at least 16 enhanced cards in my deck. The problem is I don't want to put anything to the right of the swashbuckler. I don't know. I don't know if I need to take ice cream. I'm already pretty strong and then just kind of falls off. And if it was anything else with polychrome on it, I think I keep it. But uh, polychrome ice cream is awkward. I wonder if at some point it actually turns negative. <laughs> yeah, does it eventually wrap around and start going negative? After 20 hands. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, it just disappears? Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, it does let a smooth sail for a while. You know what? You know what? Let's... Let's just grab it. I think that's fine. Ooh, free spectral. Yeah, I don't have reason to play. Well, I get a lot. I get a lot of money if I play, actually. So one out of two spectral. Whereas if I think if I play, I get like twenty bucks. Yes, it does help facilitate one hand wins. That's very true. I think it's actually better for me to play. So we discovered earlier that a two pair, a two pair is about 4,500. Even, even switching up the numbers, it should be even more now that we have this ice cream. And I have the 1.5X multiplier, so this should win. I think it was close. I think it was close. <laughs> How you doing, Phage? Oh, it's good to see you. Man, I had the... Um, that same run I was talking about last night. I had the Joker that makes it so that it doubles your odds. So I had a 50-50 chance and I had a legendary that created a copy of one card in your hand uh, that was negative. And so I got a free Wheel of Fortune with a 50-50 chance every time. And I just kept upgrading everything. I still died on anti-12, but still, it felt good. It felt good. Uh, do I want... You know what? Let's roll the dice. Man, I hate gambling. <laughs> Never gamble, chat. Never gamble. Let's take the ace here. I don't have a 10 of spades anymore. I'll take the 10 of spades. Yo, this game is so far removed from anything poker related that I'm not too worried. All right. I don't think I can win with this hand. <laughs> I don't think I can win with this hand, unfortunately. Sorry, delayed gratification. Unless. So, real talk. What does a pair of nines get me? <laughs> All right. 28 times two. 28 times 2 becomes 78 times 2. Uh, 78 times 10. 78 times 20. 128 times 30. Two 
223 times 20 time plus 1.5. I think this is actually enough. Wait, discarding by plain hand still nets more money than using discards? That's kind of funny to think about. Yeah, even before we got to the 1.5 times multiplier. <laughs> this is still pretty easy. All right. Look, y'all. It's early. Oh, no, not the DNA. Shoot. This is like my favorite card. I don't think I have anything cool to even copy. No, and that also that also anti-synergizes with my one shot. Hey, good morning, Amelie. I mean, sure. I'm approaching deck building a little bit differently before. It used to be that I just threw out everything, but now, you know, I kind of just take cards. One in seven gets drawn face down. I had this boss when you have the double the odds. That felt bad. <laughs> All right, it's a club. I do not have enough information here. Hey, good morning, Tabby. So what was it, what was our hand worth last time when it was just two pair? 12K, all right, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I was kind of hoping that was an ace. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm feeling strong. Uh, turns out polychrome ice cream was a very good call. All right, that was a boss. A plus one hand size. Oh, finally, Celestial. Man, I have not been getting... We've not gotten a lot of planets at all this run. Uh, so I'm just going to... I mean, yeah, I'm going to take Mercury, right? Keep leveling this up. I would take the Tarot card for two random planets as well. Ooh. But do I take that over the Emperor? I think I do. I think I take High Priestess here just because we want to get as much value out of Satellite as possible. We basically want to keep as much money as possible because of bootstraps. I think I'd sell satellite for for a cow. Full house Jaeger strikes again. So one thing that we probably don't want is we don't want cards with uh, discard triggers, right? Because we don't we don't discard. Sorry, there are two of spades. I didn't know. This game has a tiny bones build. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Pluto over Mars, which seems so wrong right now. But the way that we're trying to play, I think it's actually good currently. skip oh right sorry seals are fine for sure pair of aces <laughs> and just discard some low cards uh Maybe try and set up a club flush if I don't accidentally one-shot this boss with a pair of aces. I think we're fine. <laughs> All right, 19k with just uh, just a pair.
3x multiplier if all cards held in hand are spades or clubs. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that before. All right, two new planets. Two new planets. Let's go satellite. Oh, man. I'm just going to take two pair here. Maybe at that point, I'm just supposed to level up better hands, like endgame hands. So first time watching this game and you both have no idea what's going on and you somehow understand. Yeah, this is uh, poker meets Calvin ball is how I've been describing it to people. Must play five cards. I understand. I mean, full house Jaeger strikes again. And I get three bucks because I play a gold seal. I love that when it triggers my third Joker, it's already lethal. <laughs> you know? Oh. Yo, this satellite is making us some bank right now. So I do want to buy all of these. A lot of money. I got the Chiva last night for having over $400. You played five cards very well there. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, this would be pretty good with what we're doing, but I don't think it replaces anything right now. You didn't know that poker could be this lethal? Oh. Uh, we're skipping for negative joker. We have so much money. Wait. If I skip, skip. If I skip, skip, I could potentially get a negative polychrome joker. And that's going to cost me about $50. But we're strong enough, I don't think I care. Wow. Wow. I think I still win here, though. I think this flush is still lethal. They'll be separate jokers. Are you sure? I don't know. They don't add? We'll find out together. Let's find out, friends. Also, let's see if uh, this is lethal. It might not be. Never mind. They can't be both negative and polychrome. Foil, poly, and negative don't stack. Interesting. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I guess I'm buying this. Because why not? Create a planet if I play two or more eights. 1.5x multiplier for every heart. You think we sell ice cream now? I think Lusty Joker might be better than ice cream if we're looking for a polychrome card, right? I only have 10 hearts, but we could fix that. Why not both? Well, I'd have to sell something else. I mean, maybe it's time for delayed gratification to hit the road. No, these two, these two scale so well together, right? Maybe satellite goes. That's free $8 per hand. Like these three are just so strong together. All right, I forgot that swashbuckler works really well with uh, Joker as well. Delayed also has a 10x multiplier, though. I don't have a ton of hearts. Yeah, but it's also 1.5x mult. Which is so strong. And I can get more hearts. Watch. Watch this Arcana. Watch. <laughs> this is tough, actually. I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna do it. Hey, what's up, Thunder Heavy Arm? It's good to see you, friend. All 
All right, taking Mars here. My ice cream's already melting, exactly. All right, watch this, we're gonna get a heart card. Easy. What was <laughs> Literally anything but the one. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I think I think I'll take a lovers here. Works great with the lusty Joker. No, sorry. I like to describe my ice cream as half full, not half half melted. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, how we looking? Uh, I mean, we look like we have a full house. Is there any reason I should wild card this right now? No, I'll save this. Um, I'll save this fool. <clears throat> I could have made a flush house. Noted. Econ is so strong in this game. It's actually kind of unreal how good Econ is. There we go. We got the sun. And y'all were worried about my heart count. Look at that. And now we turn them into clubs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, big fan of Hanged Man. Not a huge fan of uh, Justice. Sure. This is poker with a hundred times reading comprehension. <laughs> uh, I call it poker meets Calvin ball. So I have a flush. I can use the hanged man to destroy... Well, if I destroy stuff, then I don't have a flush, which is kind of awkward. I could use justice on this. This is going to be an interesting way to maybe thin our deck. Does anything explode? Let's find out. Wait, I didn't one shot. Really? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's very exciting. It's over chat. It's because they weren't hearts. Neither one shot and nor did any of the glasses pop. Yeah. It's fine. We still didn't use any discards, so we still get delayed gratification. I mean, I still walked out of that with $26, so. I mean, no. <laughs> so, Hanged Man destroying two more low cards is kind of tempting. What are we saving up for? Money just makes us stronger. We're saving up because money is a multiplier. Every five bucks we have makes us uh, better. Kind of just want to destroy these two cards with Hanged Man. High Priestess is a little bit tempting too, though. We're basically capitalists. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, free pack. Uh-oh. You know what? Actually, because we keep one shot in, maybe we're fine against the pillar here. Yeah, that seems fine. Wait. Wait. Heart flush. Heart flush with lusty joker.
Really? Now what do I do? I'm going to go for a straight here. And I'm just going to play a high card. Uh, we're not going to discard so that we can try and get value off of delayed gratification. So I'd rather... Oh, I just won. <laughs> so we're going to pretend that we have no discards. Uh, at least for a little bit longer. We should probably ditch this pretty quick. This is probably going to kill us now that we're up at like anti-7. I mean, wow. That's like two more dollars per round. This counts as a heart. Playing a full house sets your money to zero? That's so rude. <laughs> but, but doctor, I am full house Jaeger. The ox target's my most played hand. You know what? That's a pretty okay spread. We're going to set ourselves up for a heart flush after this first one. Nice, even 30k. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the king in hand here. Well, where was that hand? Like, look at that. It's beautiful. I mean, I just buy everything, right? Like, <laughs> hey, what's up, Chrono? Thank you so much for the 59 months. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Ooh, death. Kind of tempting, actually, just to make it this king. Because I don't have anything that synergizes with any particular card. And this just gives me flexibility to both play it and to not play it. So I'm going to do that over the ace. What am I going to do with all this money? Uh, use it to win. Again, we got the boots. Money is, money is our win con. We're going to hit them with our wallet, chat. We're going to hit them with our wallet. I have a chariot and a star. I'm just going to sell the star. Maybe I should have kept it, just in case. Maybe that was greedy. You left Chicago just in time. Uh, another creator who was at the event said there was, um, there was like legitimately a tornado warning when she was at the airport and it really freaked her out, understandably, you know? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, the classic... The classic um, three parts of one hand, but nothing actually. All right, let's see if this shatters this time. I was supposed to use Chariot there. I don't know why I didn't. I have a straight. One, two, three, four, five. Did I get deep dish? I did not, no. Actually, I should have left the king in hand. Whatever. We still win, but regardless. No, what did I eat? I ate tacos a couple times, which were delicious. Uh, had Japanese. There's like a, a pho place not too far from the convention center that I went for some quick meals. I would not call the food I had in Chicago particularly inspired, which is more of a me thing than anything. 
Um, give me a second here. I have another copy of Death, which means I want another King of Hearts here. So I'm going to use this Death card. Yeah, like, that's not to say that the food in Chicago is not good. I just never found any of it because I was too busy. All right, chat. You ready? You ready? Two out of four. Dang. <laughs> what? A polychrome stone card. That's so funny, y'all. I'm going to take the seven of hearts. Look at that shiny rock. Turns out you can, in fact, polish a turd. Who knew? <laughs> H and I had hot pot with Wheeler in Chinatown. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So I've got a... I've got a straight... You know what? I'm going to make this a royal flush. Hold on. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? I lose two hearts, but whatever. Wait. That's wrong. Oh, buckets. Oh, I screwed up everything. I didn't read the cards. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a club. Whatever. Whatever. We still win. We didn't win? Oh, we're ruined. Oh, I'm never going to be able to emotionally recover from this. Oh, crap. Unbelievable. <clears throat> All right. Do not upon... Do not play the, fl the full house, Jaeger. Don't play the full house. Uh, this three of a kind should win. I'm not doing the math. Wow, you ever just like screw up a royal flush? Nah, just me? Cool. <laughs> hey, look who came back. Mega Buffoon. You know what? It might be time... <clears throat> pardon me. It might be time to replace some stuff like delayed gratification and satellite. We'll see. I'm going to buy and look for replacements. Oh, it's negative. Yo, this is just like... Oh my god. It's popcorn. Whatever. Negative popcorn kind of cracks me up. Makes our swashbuckler way better. Uh, and it's also really good because we're in our final round. Uncommon jokers give a 1.5 times multiplier. One, two. I've got two. And I, it's funny because I want to replace. I actually wanted to replace satellite. But if I keep it. Wait, this is also uncommon. Cloud nine. Do I get rid of delayed gratification? It's a 10 X multiplier. Lurking and working while with this game on is a bit of a trip. The terminology sans context feels like a crap shot. I'm having a stroke. Sick. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of this delayed gratification. It's going to make my swashbuckler worse because this wants to be to the right of it. But like, whatever. I mean, I think I'm going to put it into a uh, full house here. Always forces one card to be selected. You know what? That might be that might be fine. I mean, I'll take the straight Oh, 
Oh, interesting. So that doesn't actually need to be on the far side. So this could technically be here. Because it triggers every time an uncommon triggers. Weird. Weird. Ooh. A little bit late to pivot to the aces deck. We've only got four on the deck, yeah. Our uncommons need to be to the right now? Well, no. These two still need to be on the right. So I think this order is still correct. They're as right as they can be. <laughs> uh, this needs to be as far to the right as possible because it counts everything to the left. And our flat multiplier needs to be as far to the side. Yeah, so I think this order is correct. Uh, and this doesn't really matter where it is in relation to these. So this order is fine. Get another heart here for our lusty joker. Wish there was a Twitch overlay to explain all the jokers, right? This is a remarkably bad hand. I think I'm going to play that. <clears throat> and let's see how far a pair of fours goes. Two pair. Oh, I'm killing my popcorn. Dang. Maybe I should have skipped skip to the boss. They're already all hearts. <laughs> you woke up to the line, it's killing my popcorn. All right, boss fight time. How we doing here? You know? Sorry, right, my deck is garbage. I'll play anything you give me. Cerulean Bell, do your worst. All right, that's pretty bad. All right, touche, touche. <gasps> oh my God. The natural royal flush? Y'all, let's go. Amazing, GG everybody. Sick. Royal flush for the win. Feels good. So we got two Chivos there. What did we just get? Win a run without rerolling the shop. Yeah. Win a run on the least red stake difficulty. Sure. Right. I got the nest egg. Only 1.4% of players have had uh, 400 or more dollar dues. McGurginator, thank you for the eight months. All right, 
<clears throat> new run. Uh, the Zodiac Dock is, deck has been unlocked. Start run with Tarot Merchant, Planet Merchant, and Overstock. Cool. All right. So these are the ones that we've won with. We've ran, we've won with red, blue, yellow, green, black, magic deck. We've not won with the Nebula. Celestial packs always contain the planet with your most played poker hand. <clears throat> but I get minus one consumable slot. Wow. Well, let's give it a try. All diamonds are debuffed. Okay. One consumable. Wow, that feels terrible. Uh, Full House Jaeger, right off the bat. Oh, it wasn't enough to win. Would have helped if I had, you know, done the math. I think James would enjoy this game. I have no idea. James doesn't really play video games. You'd slam baseball? Doesn't make me stronger. I'm kind of tempted to buy both of these or do nothing. Because, like, getting your econ going is really important. I'm going to do that. Start with the tarot card. That gets me 10 bucks. I started with nine. Reset. Pretend nothing happened there. Back to exactly where I thought I was. I want both. I only have $10. I can't get $14. i am going to get the Celestial Pack and then uh, take an Earth. All right. We are full house Jaeger, chat. We're going all in on it. How do you win? So much like Slay the Spire, there's a there's a final boss. So you fight eight rounds. How could I possibly miss on the full house? But I am Full House Jaeger, Doctor. It's very uncomfortable. Oh, Lord. Wait, am I, am I dead? All right, I need something to kill this boss. We're going to spend everything here. Does not feel good going into a boss with no jokers and no nothing. All right, well, this sucks because the boss, literally, all diamond cards are debuffed. So, like, cool. Oof. Uh. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> so I've got a straight. 
I got a pair of threes. I could play the straight just to get... What is that? What is that? Uh, that gets me halfway there. Sure. I need just just a basic, just any joker that makes me stronger, please. I have no money. I have no scaling. I have nothing. <clears throat> All right, we play every hand. I would like to try and go for a full house. There we go. They call me full house Jaeger. <clears throat> full house actually counts as two pair as well, which is very funny. Uh, I mean, hold on. I got there. Now we scaling. Now we scaling. See? Oh, crap. <laughs> hey, look, the gift card is back. You know what they say, never look a gift card in the mouth. Mouth. Mouse. You know what? Let's actually skip this. You're right. You looked a gift card in the mouth and noticed me. Now I can't escape. Well, I got bad news. Here's the first thing that's going to happen. They're going to take you. <laughs> All right, what am I doing with this deck? <clears throat> this looks like an exactly normal playing card deck, except for the fact that I added this one nine of spades. All right, fascinating. Uh... Queen of Hearts. I guess anything I add is good. Because it makes it more likely for me to do stuff. Wait, they made three Taken movies? At this point, you think he's just a bad parent? Wow. Yeah, you know what? I think I agree with you. I think I want the, um, the Queen of Hearts here more. I think this actually helps me kill the boss. Oh, I get to pick two. Sick. All right, let's go. So I have many queens and many tens and many nines in the deck, and both of the sixes are out. So what if I do... You know what? What if I do this? There's four more tens in the deck, though. Full House Jaeger to another six. Hey, we did it. We win. Cool boss fight. <laughs> All right. Can I get anything? Yes. There. This is something. Jokers. Oh, my God. The boots are back. So 
So this helps me with one shots. These are an onbow. I have no money. These are kind of a combo. These are a combo. I get to pick two. None of these have simple things like, hey, what if you just win? All right, this makes me stronger. This maybe makes me stronger. We need this. This is huge for us, actually. It doesn't let us scale our trousies, but that's okay. Uh, we have none money, and maybe we get like a joker or something. So let's see what happens. All right, uh, full house. This is actually huge because it helps us level up our trousies. Very few fours and fives. There's a lot of nines left in the deck. There are some tens left in the deck as well. Uh, if I discard the king and jack to try and draw nines and tens. I hate you. Whatever. I got the two pair. That levels up the trousies. We're, uh, not very strong right now. <laughs> All right. This is actually huge. We got some money. All right, game. All right, game. Let's turn it around. Huh. <sighs> No repeat hound rounds. Okay. Good. I just have to one-shot the boss. Not quite. That's fine. Now we can do two pair. All right, goodbye nine. But I am I am full house man. I mean, this does just give me 50 free chips. Yeesh. Hey, has anybody found out what this does yet? What does it do? We buy it 10 times. Okay. I think we've got it like four or five times. We're not in the space to buy it currently, though. Would you buy that for 50? Yes, because I'm I'm literally just dying here. I need I need anything.
You got the pants. It's my favorite card in the no face deck. Uh, <laughs> looks at face joker. <laughs> uh, random question. Four of a kind doesn't count as two pair, does it? <laughs> but it's two pairs. <laughs> <laughs> How dare? How dare? I honestly think that helped a lot. You know? You know? No. That doesn't actually make me stronger. If this was anti-floor one or something like that, maybe I grab it. Hey, what's up, Mr. Lecter? Thank you for using your prime here. Wubalatro, yeah. I thought for a second it gives me planets, but I don't think that's what I need. I think I need to, I'm gonna buy one of these and I think the Arcana pack is gonna make me stronger. Death. Death and this is my hand, wow. If I had anything, I guess I don't have a, like, yeah, this ace would have been amazing. I'm just going to destroy two threes. Just start thinning my deck of bad cards. I'm trying to get a little bit of econ going, which is why I'm not just slamming that. Uh, that's a straight. That doesn't help me level up my trousies. I have a pair of fives already. I mean, I think I just play this though. It's probably not gonna win, which means I can get the trousies after, but it's a good hand and I have a bad deck, so. Getting most of the way there seems very important. Creates a planet card if held, no! <laughs> You know what? I'm just going to play it. Just to level up the trousies. I don't know. I don't know if that was correct. Plus two molts instead of maybe a random planet. You know what? I need it. I need it. Oh, this might change everything. Let's buy the Spectral Pack. You know what helps with pairs? Oh, minus one to hand size though. Crap. Uh, Give me a second while I think about this. I really have to pee. I'll be right back.
Hello. Hello. Ah. All right. It's not a face. All clubs are debuffed. Full house, please. Wanted me to play the nine of spades. How's I supposed to do that? All right, how many more tens do I have? I got a lot of tens. I got three more jacks in the deck. I'm just wondering what I'm supposed to discard. I'm supposed to discard the twos, probably. I'm supposed to discard the twos and... Maybe the king? We got one more king in the deck. I can also discard the jacks. Twos, kings, jacks? No. What if I discard all of the faces? And then I just have to draw two more tens. But a lot of real poker. This game's wild to you. Yeah, I imagine the more you know about actual poker, the worse you are at this game. <laughs> that's my that's my assumption. Holographic. Oh, it cares about diamonds. Interesting. Like. Voucher's tempting. Oh, Nega Joker. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get stronger. I'm going to skip this. I think, man, I don't know about y'all. I always take Nega Joker. Always, always, always take Nega Joker. You read an interview about the creator. He doesn't even like or play poker. Amazing. <laughs> You know what? I kind of feel like Full House Jaeger is fully armed and operational right now. This is starting to scale nicely. This was a great hit. And uh, yeah, we've just got some bad jokers to replace. <laughs> all right. All right. We were talking about the baseball card earlier. Guess who came back? Incredible. Uncommon jokers give a 1.5x molt. All right, that's an uncommon. I only got the one so far, but it came back. It came back and it's even better. So we're looking for uncommons now. Uh, we're gonna, what's our boss? Discard two cards at random, that's fine. All right. You got the never have more than three jokers win today. Interesting. Uh, this is interesting as well. This is a full house. But it doesn't use tens. Alright. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a game changer. He says, refusing to take it floor one. I have time to buy that. <laughs> All spades are debuffed. That's fine. How 
How did I not hit like six tens there? There we go. It's a good thing I'm going into the boss that cares about spades, huh? <laughs> so, I think if I just play this, I win. And then I get a planet. Pluto. Great. <laughs> you got a legendary Joker on round one? Oh my god, let's go. Alright, so we're going to play one more hand and then we're going to buy seed money. Uh, both times I've been so close to one shotting it. Lurker Spine, how you doing? Thank you so much for 28 months. You love the three pair? I see it so often, Fuji. I see it so often. Why won't it leave me alone? Were you here for the previous run? I had a sweet run before this. This one, uh, this one not so much. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to buy this right now. We're going econ. We're going econ. And I think we're strong enough to win. Can I rearrange my jokers for better multiplier? I believe they are as good as they can be right now. Wait, no, you're right. I want this here. You're right. That's probably for the best. Nice catch. Popped in while you're waiting for your next meeting. Mm. Ooh, good, good start, good start, good start. Good start. How many sixes in my deck? Uh, let's just ditch all of this. So I have the full house. You know what? I'm gonna play this for now, just to just to get the the you know, just to get the ball rolling. Uh, Zethian, thank you for the seven months, friend. Hope you're having an amazing day. Yeah, good call. Uh, that appears to be a straight. Upon closer inspection, it is in fact a straight. Wait, this should also be over one. It didn't really matter, but it should be over one. Amazing day today. Today's your Friday. Love it. All right, plus one hand size is huge. Do I care about money? Not right now. Not like this, at least. Unless it's uncommon, in which case I do. No. Uh, I'm going to buy one of these. I'm going to try to keep the money just to, just to get a little bit of econ going. I have no nines currently. I have four queens and I have three kings. So I could have five kings. I'm just trying to make my... Uh, I think strength is the way to go here. And the goal is to try and double up on cards as much as possible to make our full houses more likely. And I think... I think five and two is better than three and four. What's up, little cat? Have a great day. Thank you. Oh. 
Ooh. I am full house Jaeger, so I think getting three free levels on that is huge. Bad start. I have no nines left in the deck. We're going to play uh, jacks over aces. Well, hold on. That gives me a 2x molt when scored. No, this is better because I have a diamond and that... Yes, I think this is just better. I think. Can I get another full house? I'm going to go for two pair here just so I can get the... Uh, so I get the planet. I should really level up two pair. What's this at, by the way? Plus 40? Not bad. Straight flush. Uh, no. All right. All right, jokers. Give me something to work with here. Yeah, this ain't it. <laughs> Maybe? Adds a number of times. Is this retroactive? Like, does it just know that I've played the full house 16 times, so it's going to count as a 16 times multiplier? Or it does? Oh, hold on. Uh, maybe it's time to get rid of this droll joker then. Because I'm never playing a flush. And yeah. <sighs> Only ever discard three, huh? What's a flush worth in this economy? Yikes. Really? You know what? Remember how I turned those kings into something? Looks like it's paying off. Wait, it will draw three no matter how few you discard? Wait, really? I fundamentally misunderstood how that how that has worked basically forever. All right, hold on. So four of a kind, 90 times 10. Five of a kind, 100. Do I, do I need... I'm just trying to see if I can get away with not playing this. So I need 16,000. Uh, that's 900 plus 40. 130 times 10, Okay. 130 times 24. 130 times 24. 130 times 66. With two 1x multiply. I think I win with this. I think I win with this. And I got a full house. All right. So worth. So worth. What if I use the cheating hand, though? I am no cheetor. Odd Todd has arrived. Except my deck is made of tens.
We have some money now. We can actually get some, like, stuff. I'm going to get rid of photograph, and I'm going to take the certificate. Because now I always get a 1.5 molt instead of a 2x one time. I'm going to buy both of these, by the way. Yikes. <laughs> ah, so worth. <laughs> Flips and shuffles all Joker cards. Okay. Oh, right. I only ever have room for one. That sucks. Man. Man. I don't want five of a kind. That is not the type of gamer that I am. I'm going to play th three... There we go. We did it. Woo. Do I add just another 10 to my deck? I don't think I do. I need to get my other pairs cooking here. Uh, queen is not great to add. I could add a fourth ace. Queen is like actively bad to add, right? I only got two nines. I mean, maybe, maybe it is better. I keep seeing that one. Sure, I'll take this just to see if I can get those pairs going. And... Spin! That we were zero for three. All right. Statistically, Gamber's fallacy here. <laughs> we're owed it right now. This would be four in a row. Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Word Nerdify? Uh, it's good to see you, friends. Thank you so much for 35 months of the God sub. Unbelievable. Really appreciate it. Oh, well, that feels good. Because they're in a very specific order here. Bruh. Get old uh, Full House Jaeger even more powerful. I mean, they really want to make queens happen, huh? All right, everybody. The devil. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we need to watch the order here. We need to watch the order here, and we want to try and get the 1.5 multipliers to the far end and the other one to the far left. Nothing else matters. We slowed down the game speed so we could watch here. Okay. That's our pants. Okay, these are our two... Okay. 
That should win us now. This should be GG. It's another unlock, everybody. Feels good. There you go. Our first win with the Nebula deck. Amazing. Spectral cards may appear in the sharp. Shop, start with a hex card. Adds polychrome to a random joker, destroy all other jokers. Cool. Let's give it a go. So we basically want to just buy a joker as quickly as possible. Normally I'd skip here. Maybe we skip play? I mean, two tarot's is pretty strong. Ah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Face cards? I don't know. I have no idea, right? Have to kind of pick there uh, knowing nothing. So we're pretty close to a club flush. With a 4x multiplier, I should just win. Yeah. All right, come on. Even a medium viable joker. You know what? Sure. Uh, I'll buy the flush here. If we get any Joker, we're off to the races. All right. All right. Give us the Joker. Negative multiplier? Sure. Wait, can you not? You can't stack negative and polychrome? Crap. Oh, these are both bad. I don't want to buy these. I, I'm going to save my money. I'm going to save my money. I want to rip myself in half there. Tempting. Tempting. Ah. Uh, I am somewhat of a lucky ace myself. This is a bad habit I have. I love that. I just love high rolling. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Literally the same odds for any other card. Got there. I kind of want that negative, other free negative joker as well, chat. I have to use hex first.
Earn $1 at the end of every round. Amazing. Oh my god, this is going to be an incredible negative joker. Ooh, and spectral. Okay, you are now negative. There is no downside to keeping you forever. And I'm going to buy the cryptid. And then I should have enough money to buy this after the boss. Ooh, I'm going to be minus two on my hand size here. Let's go. Oh, that destroys all other jokers? I got it wrong. I should have doubled that. Shoot! I mean... I don't really want a bunch of other 10s in my deck. But I could have a full house right now. Wait, I didn't win with that? Uh-oh. There's only one other 10 in the deck. There's three jacks. We might be dead here, chat. We might have flown too close to the sun. Nah, we die. Boo! All right, all right, all right, all right. I greeted way too hard. I greeted way too hard. Let's try this again. We're going to try this again with a ghost deck, and let's see what we can do. You know? <laughs> that could have been so fun, though. Cool, cool three pair. Hey, how you doing, Smith? Hey, thank you everybody for hanging out, by the way. I think you're all wonderful. Appreciate you. I know there are a lot of places on the internet that you could be hanging out. And that you decide to hang out in this little cozy corner is tremendously flattering always. This is kind of spooky. Am I going to die here? Try and set up a uh, spade flush after it all goes pear shaped. Yeah, where's the three pair joker exactly? Oh, I can't afford it. No. <laughs> oh, man. One dollar. That's because my hand was so weak, or that we didn't win. It took us so long to win is what happened. Uh, do I try and just play straights? Never tried to make a straights matter deck. Sure. Let's give this a go. I guess I could have sold the card, but like the whole reason you play is to add polychrome to something, right? What's up, Lady Mix? Thank you for the 19. Bellatro partner when? Wow. Is that a thing I could be playing towards? Come on, queen. Easy game. Easy clap. All right, there's a bunch of jokers that synergize with straight. So let's see if we can do that.
It's a sign. Very close to influencing you getting this card. And you don't even this game. You don't even care about uh, card games. My apologies. I realize I'm kind of close to straight down there, but I don't even give a dang. Jack, please. How dare you? You know what? Let's let's try for a jack eight here. Let's try for another straight. Well, I found the jacks. <laughs> Maybe I play the full house. Am I dead? Very good chance of drawing an eight. Very good chance of drawing an eight. What'd I tell you? The problem is I keep making none money by winning with the last possible hand, you know? Big fan, big fan of the bull. All right, we're back on another econ run, apparently. Doubles my money. I only have five dollars. <laughs> hey. I think we one-shot this, though. All right, that's going to make us some money. Ooh. Shortcut. <laughs> okay, okay. I need to econ. You know what? I think I have to buy this just to get through the boss. This is going to negate the boss. It kills our econ, but I think it saves our run. Is this a straight? Oh my god, it is. All right, we got to run, friends. Hey, what's up, Electric Claire? I think this is too greedy. It's very strong. I think this is too greedy. Electric Claire, thank you so much for 60 months, friend. I know I up my hand size, but still. Uh, I just need, I think I need to save my money for jokers, realistically. Is 
Is this enough to win? No, just the full house? No. I really want either a Queen of Diamonds or King of Diamonds here. And I think it's worth trying to discard to that. That's too bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, okay. I have one king left in the deck. Yeah, there's no reason not to play. Wait. No. I'm just going to throw away two cards and see if I can't get a straight here. I have a lot of hits. Two or six. There. All right. We need some of the scaling. There's a bunch that like care when you get straights and I'd like more of those. What's up, Veginals? Thank you so much for the 41s. I have to save my money for jokers. Me at tax time. Oh, I finally got my T4. That reminds me. See? There we go. This is what we're waiting for. We're going to buy this and this. Let's buy this first. So this just gives me a 10x multiplier. So I'm just going to buy it for now. I'm not going to go into debt. I just need I just need that to win. So now we can just win. <laughs> and winning is fun. Going into the boss, am I okay losing the waste bucket voucher? I think I am. I think I am. Just trying econ here. I'm just looking at this, seeing if I have a straight flush. Uh, I do not. I think I discard these three, though, just to see what happens. It was very close. All right. The one shot. It does help me econ. I'm gonna buy this. Ace two three four five. That's potentially a straight for the Fibonacci. I mean, I could sell the I could sell the credit card for it. Is it bad that I just kind of want to take Temperance here? I could get like another Ace, but... Ace, two, three, five. I mean, I could, we could try and get rid of all of our face cards. 
and just go for low ones. It'd be kind of interesting. Sell the credit card. I get one or two dollars off this. Two bucks off. Let's go. All right. Hey, what's up, Shivam? Oh my god, friend. Thank you so much for using your Prime here. Five years. That's incredible. Enjoy your rainbow bean, by the way. This is a straight. Uh, I'm going to discard this. All right. <laughs> the old six king straight, yeah. Yeah, no kidding, eh? So, jokers that I would replace. I don't know, any of them? Like, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just win. <laughs> Chicago is so much fun, Shiva. How was your trip home? Oh, 10 4, big buddy. Love 10 4. 4x multiplier for every card in your deck below 52. Well,. Got bad news about that. Uh, I want to buy both of these and try and level up my straights. There we go. You think this would go endless? We'll see. I don't feel very strong yet because I don't have scaling. Straight flush. You know what? Let's put one point in straight flush. We're not doing anything degenerate yet. You got a five hour delay? For the first time I have ever had this happen in all of my years of flying, uh, my flight, my plane had to turn around because there was an medical emergency aboard the plane. Uh, eights are good, right? Eights are good. You got home at 1 a.m.? Look, I don't want to brag or compare or anything, uh, but 3 a.m. <laughs> all right. I want to keep eights, so I don't have a hand yet. I don't have a hand yet. That's a straight. And we're not using the two, but we are using as many Fibonacci's as we can. So that works. No, my, my trip home was miserable. I did get to spend uh, the whole time in Chicago. My flight flew out at 8 o'clock. And I spent all day hanging out with Ailey of uh, Elder Dragon Hijinks and Commentary Fame. Uh, and then, yeah, as we were on the plane, it had to turn around because there was a medical emergency. <laughs> so that took us an extra hour. And I didn't realize this, but you realize that pilots can just like choose to fly faster. Which is kind of cool. I had no idea. You know what? I'm just going to sell these, which is not something I normally do, but we're all in on straight. All our deck does. So yeah, what an experience.
There's uh, there's one that cares every time you play straight. It like permanently stacks, and I want that too. Planes do have an upper limit on speed. Ah. Uh. This. I don't have room for it, but this is actually legit for our deck. Because I keep ditching face cards. Anyways, let's buy both of these. We got enough money now that we can start spending a little. I want to start getting uh, spectral cards that we can start doing some funky stuff with all of these. What? This is garbage. Do I skip? No. <laughs> mom, 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 mom. Thank you so much for using your prime here. Thank you for the 39 months. Might be able to get a straight flush here. Got it. I would laugh so hard if they called that a royal flush. Wait, straight flush is better than a royal flush? I actually don't know. No, it's not. Wait. I think that hand's worth more because of Fibonacci. Welcome back. Hope Chicago went well. Chicago was so much fun. All right, straight flush hits me about 30k. All right. We're getting closer. We're not quite strong yet. That was a Fibonacci straight flush, yeah. All right, ace, two. <laughs> it's very weird for me to be enhancing, but here we are. You know what? Are we at the point now where we start... Uh actually like actively removing face cards from our deck i think we are all right watch this straight straight flush dang it i said i'd just sell these Ugh. i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm committing <laughs> Surprisingly, didn't play any Magic at MagicCon, but it's still fun. I got to play, I think, like six community games on on uh, the Friday. And then after that, I just got way too busy. Okay, we're looking for a two. Wait, I don't think I can actually straight flush down. Uh-oh. Can I? Wait, that works? <laughs> Sick. Wait, if that works, hold on, I have one more discard. Oh. Wait, I discarded the six. That was really bad. Yeah, I got to play a bunch of Highlander on the first day. Saturday, uh, we had our event. And so, like, I got to play in that. But, you know, just, like, games on the side. Ace is both one. So, the, re uh, the thing that confused me is you can't go, like, King, Ace, 2, 3, 4. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 does work. That's that's where I was getting wrong in my brain. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rerolls are cheaper. Uh, that will save me money later. 
It's either high or low. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not Pac-Man rules. That's exactly what I was thinking. So I max out at $25 interest. So I'm going to buy all of these. Eventually, we're going to want to start spending. Because we get some really cool stuff up here. Just not yet. Nice. Love it. What a weird deck. Just like, yeah, I just discarded. Ace, ace, whatever, right? So I'm missing something in the middle here. I need to pick either low flush or high flush. I'm going to commit to low. Never mind. Love, love straight, not flush. Love high, high straight. <laughs> You're playing and trying to keep up. I don't think I'm playing that quick. Wow, we barely one-shot that. What is this? Right, I haven't removed anything from my deck, so this doesn't do anything. Uh, there's another death, though. That's kind of exciting. Death is weird in our deck, because we're not looking for pairs, but we are looking to remove face cards, so I'll buy that. Uh, yeah, I can eat whatever, sweetie. I don't want to buy this, but it doesn't do anything, <laughs> which is a shame. Uh, am I ready to re-roll? Yes, once. Uh, we're going for a straight flush. Wait, do I just have a straight here? No. Cannot jump from two to five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I play you. Maybe I'm supposed to make another ace there. Because I had the death card. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh, well, it's fine. This is what I mean. We're still not strong yet. And I don't... My brain is having a hard time wrapping around how I'm supposed to manipulate my deck to make this better. You know what I mean? Double all probabilities. One in three chance of played cards with hearts suit to give 2x multiplier when scored. I'm kind of tempted to give up on, on straights. Does that make sense? I don't have any scaling right now. And this is really interesting to me. 
Like, if I buy both of these, this is a 2 out of 3 chance that every heart gives us a 2x multiplier. So, like, if I sell this and this, and then we just go Fibonacci, uh, we still have the shortcut for straights, though. Maybe we ditch Bull? <laughs> Baradite was ready to ditch the straights a while ago. <laughs> This deck is an out of context gold mine. We're spending some money here. All right, let we're changing everything, chat. Great. Wow. Lucky one played. This is a great card. Lucky one played. Tarot card when discarded. Yes. Wasn't that my 1.5 joker? Yes, I am going all in this one time. What up, Squirrel Arrow? Thank you for the 71. We're just going into it a generic broken deck. And I'm just going to start taking everything. Which makes my previous decisions to not take everything really bad. Lamond. Wait, I wanted to be hearts because hearts are better. Nice. Sick. All right. Joe grabbed me some mac and cheesy. And I love her for it. One dollar. It's not a Fibonacci card. I'm going to skip it. That's a Fibonacci card. And I can discard it. Love it. Big fan. Start with none discards. I have five hands. Going into... Going into... That's very interesting. I think I'm stronger if I play. Curse you for making me buy this game. I'm glad you've been having fun. Justice. It's like actually just a straight flush. <laughs> I 
Wait, I didn't win? Unbelievable. I have a full house here. All right, you ready for some big money rolls on the oops all sixes? Bam. Buy three. Wait, I'm not done yet? How am I still in this game? <laughs> Artist, thank you very, very, very much for the 67 months. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. Uh oh. Yes. Shouldn't Bloodstone be 100%? No, normally it's one out of three. And because I have the stacked dice, it's two out of three. I could have used the, the five of hearts, maybe. You're right, but I didn't. man death I only get to pick one wow what if we had another ace of hearts Is there a reason not to reorder the played cards to put the hearts after the Fibonacci cards? Is there a reason not to reorder the played cards to put the hearts after? Ah, uh, I just don't care. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. There's like a level of micro in a game that just makes it less interesting for me. I could play that, and if I do that, then I probably want to play this. That's a good reason not to. Hoping for the triple proc, which is both the um, 20 multiplier, the big malt, as well as the money, money, money. So, so it goes. Destroys one random card and gives me two enhanced aces. Yes, don't mind if I do. All right, we need to start getting like just good hands. Once again, look at this. You could keep it or you can pitch it and it's a heart. Yes. Wow. Actually, I could play it, pitch it, or hold it. This card does everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, destroy a random card. Give me two enhanced aces. 
We're gonna start with this. Uh, we're gonna start with this full house and keep this ace behind. Yo, what up, Zed? I slept okay last night. I didn't get like giga sleep, but I slept okay. Uh, are we dying? So if I play this, then I. Keep the hearts. Maybe I get a flush. The other option is maybe I've, I actually use this card now. Play this. And then uh, I guess I could do this. Now we have access to a flush. Keeping the ace of diamonds behind. Y'all, this is kind of scary. All right, I just need to hit the, the quadruple jackpot on this. You ready? Ah, I got two out of three. Whatever. Still, still, I think we got there. All right, we need the hearts. Let's try and get more hearts into our deck. Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Wheeler himself. Hey, look, another Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Forces one card. Uh, this boss might kill us. We are very weak to this boss. All right, come on, jackpot. I haven't got 20 bucks from you yet. Man. Boo. Well, that's a lot of queens. Sure, I'll play five of a kind. What even is this game? Shivam, this is poker meets Calvin Ball. No, that's the card I wanted earlier. If we had gotten this on like floor two, uh, it would have been GG. We'd have been all in on straight. Starts as a regular poker deck and then things just start to get weird. You open like a tarot card and then you just start cheating. <laughs> you know, like one does. Uh, you know what? I just love the magician. I'm just so greedy, especially when we got this six-sided dice. Uh, let's delete these two. And then do I want to make more queens? Does make it harder for me to hit... anything. Uh, I care about eights and sevens, so Fibonacci doesn't help me there. <sighs> this is tough. I might skip. Do we need bull? I don't like randomly selling. Bull is pretty strong. I don't think bull is worse than random. This is Bellatro, the first time the gays are willing to go full all in on the straights. <laughs> uh, I think I skip here. 
I have six jacks. What if I had seven queens? Uh, no. Start with a regular game of poker, but there's 150 jokers, tarot cards, and astrology. Yeah. You're like, what if you play a game of poker, but you can just cheat? I mean, I have a full house right here. And they do call me full house Jaeger, but that does nothing with the Fibonacci's. Is it a deck builder? Yes. This is an okay hand. I'll play this hand. I'm just going to start using every planet card, which I should have. I was just trying to be really cute earlier. And you know what they say, never be cute, Jaeger. Never be cute. Uh, what if I play this? I'm going to play this with the hope of making some big money off of at least one of these aces. Boo! <laughs> Can't believe it's never procced. Never lucky. Never lucky once in my life. Hey, what up, Mungo? Thank you so much for 16 months, friend. See? This is what I'm talking about. Where were these at the very beginning? If I had gotten these earlier, I would have absolutely committed to all straight. What is this? See? Another great. Yes. Good. Another great, very versatile jack. Put some points into Planet X here. So we're going into the boss fight, right? Yeah. Let's re-roll at least once. Destroy one random card in your hand to get you two aces. Yes. Re-roll one more time here. Re-roll one more time here. I'll buy an Earth as well. All right. Before we go into this final boss here, friends, I'm going to take a short bio break. I will be right back.
Hi! <clears throat> How you doing, everybody? We're back. It's time to try and kill this boss. So I could start with a straight here. Uh, I don't get much value out of anything, but my hand is forced. The other option is I could just play this right now and see what happens. You know what? No, let's save it. Let's save it for now and play this. I only got 7,000 for that hand. Hold on. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll play that eight. No. Play this. We're getting really unlucky. You can discard the selected hand. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. Well, that's interesting. Let's let's pitch all of these. I have a high priestess. <clears throat> That's so many aces. That's so many aces. <laughs> All right, hold up. Hold up. So what's worth more here? So this is four of a kind, which is 150 times 16. Five of a kind is 155. Okay, four of a kind is actually worth more. Neat. I'm going to keep this one back so I can maybe get a flush later. Uh, I've also got the workings on a straight at the lower end there, and this gives me a multiplier if it's in my hand. So let's give this a try. Five of a kind adds another 11 chips because of the extra currents. I mean, I guess it did give me another Fibonacci, which is kind of interesting. But it did keep that available. Wait, that... What do you mean that's a pair? Right, that's a pair. Shoot. Uh, yikes. You know what? Let's do this. Two more hands. Game. I really don't want to die. I think this is one of the harder bosses. I don't know about y'all. Jeez, this is my last hand? Hanged man. Okay. This should win. Okay, well, I one shot it on the final hand. Thanks, game. <laughs> uh, I don't think this deck is cool enough to go endless. But that's our third unlock today, which is kind of cool. So yeah, we won with Ghost Deck. We won with the Nebula. And we got our first win on like unlocking a red one as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, the Abandoned Deck, you get none face cards. All right. So what does that mean? We're starting with a 40 card deck. Oh my God, I love it. Uh, this is also my very, very, very favorite start. It's so busted. I need to remember that I don't have anything. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, we have a straight. Wow, four of a kind twos. Cool. I guess we are playing with a much smaller deck. Watch them give us only face card jokers or something. Hey, what's up, EK? Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm buying both of these. Oh my god. <laughs> Did we start over? Yes. So if you're curious how the game works, Shiva, great time to be here. You know what? Let's let's make four of a kind of jackpot. Which 40 cards do I have? Well, I have everything except for face cards. 
Ahem. Nope. <laughs> uh, do I buy this right now? I think we hold. I think we hold. Create a planet if you played two or more eights. Eights, eights and aces. Oh, shoot. I should have bought that. Right. Of course. I forgot. Well, goodbye forever. So we have a uh, straight. Seems like a good start. I have a full house. But some of those cards are bad. I kind of want to play this because I get a free planet. Hi, sweetie. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, cutie. I got two pair here. Aces and three. All right, uh, medium GG. Oh, we lost the one of consumable. Yeah, so this is how it works, Shivam. You start off, you get a deck of cards, and each deck that you pick is random. Oh, Space Joker. And this deck, this deck's gimmick is it's a regular deck of cards, except it has no face cards. And then, as you play, you get money, and you buy Jokers, and you try and make everything weird. Director's Cut is extremely powerful. Kind of tempted by the Space Joker. Seems very good early. Let's check this first. When blind is selected, what does what does that mean? Does that mean if I click like down here? Is that what blind means? Or do I just get two random jokers every time? Literally, when you play around? That seems very strong. Yeah, I realize that that's kind of busto. James asked me what I'm playing on one more next week, and I'm just going to say more Bellatro. Any questions? <laughs> hey, here's a random question. Uh, is anybody paying attention to Death Must Die? Because I'm curious if... I'm curious if um, the update's going to be coming out soon. Vaguely, not any details. All right. Yeah, really, this is like top tier. Let's see what we get. Start with none discards. All right. So, two random jokers. Hearts and the Mystic Summit. Ooh. Straight fire. Hearts and Mystic Summons is my Hawkwind cover band. Delightful. I think we got it. I think we I think we won. <laughs> uh we ten times the score. <laughs> Amazing. Alright. I'm going to sell this. And I'm going to sell this. And I'm going to check for another ace. A two is a little bit interesting, but it's a two. If I had anything else that synergized with it, maybe. Like, I realize it 
does double duty with the lusty joker, but I'm going to skip. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to get that econ up. So we're going to play one more hand. We're going to buy this after. Earn $3 for every discarded seven. Earn $2 if no discards. What do I do? <laughs> uh. I think the $4 is better. Or that's $6. Yeah. I want as many aces as possible in this deck. All right, well, that made us some money. Uh, this is kind of funny. Ooh, wait. Strength does nothing. Like, actually. Because, whatever. I buy this now. I buy this. I mean, no, we skip, skip. Well, actually, what we could do here, what we could do, I don't have any meta progress, is I'm going to sell this. I'm going to accept this, and then I'm going to sell it and this. And I'm going to buy this. You had a run where you got over 37 tens. Incredible. Yo, if you are playing this game and you're in the Discord, share your photos. I'm so curious. I want to see what you got. Show me what you're working with. We've had some people who've been like 3 million point hands or whatever, you know? All right. So we have no discards and we got a foil ride the bus. Plus one multiplier per consecutive hand without playing a face. Nice. Very, like, actually, legitimately very cool. Because we have no faces in our deck. So this is just going to scale forever. Oh, I can't discard anything. No! Awkward. Okay, uh, that's fine. That's fine. We got this club flush. Aces and tens. You got down to an 18 card deck? That's wild. I think this is going to do very well for us. I think this is something... I think these are two things that we want to hold on and build around. And these are replaceable now. Ace? How dare you not give me an ace? Ha! Huh. Unbelievable. I like I don't think this five is worth putting in either. You love the current voucher in the shop, it's so good. I'm kind of mixed on it, because like sometimes your deck doesn't always do the same thing, right? Blue seal could be good. Maybe. I actually prefer the discards more than the holds. So is it time to sell the riffraff? I might get rid of hanging Chad. And I don't know if I care about the lusty joker if I'm honest. Everything else being equal. I think I'm going to sell these two. I think these are strong enough to build around that I want to high roll. Let's see what we're working with anyways. Only get one hand. Okay. Polygrome. So let's, let's do it. Let's try and high roll a bit here. This is maybe a bit greedy, but...
Can I please get an ace? Thank you. You have to sing it. There's one thing I know about me. It's greed. This isn't greedy. How dare you? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Great to meet you in Chicago. And for, sorry for interrupting your lunch. No worry. Hey, you changed the uh, you changed the capitalization on your name, so I can remember how to play it now. It's E Ostby. I used to pronounce it Yostby. Every played card permanently gains plus four. You know what? What if we what if we do this? What if we buy both of these? When blind is selected, and then we sell these two. And look at it. We got this permanent scaling. Why do you wait to the last minute to buy vouchers? Uh, the more money you have, the more uh, interest you get. And I'm not going to buy this one. So if you have under $25, the most amount of interest you can get by default is uh, five per round. And so letting myself get more money is more interesting to me, at least. So I don't think I'm going to get four of a kind that often. We haven't done any deck manipulation. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these two. <clears throat> Keep this 4x for consistency and try these two. This boss is going to be, this card is going to be very good for this particular Joker because I don't get to discard anything anyways. Another ace. The Full House, Le Monde. Do I want a guaranteed polychrome joker? No, not really. Negative? Yeah, I'm in. <clears throat> it's a good thing I got rid of that heart card, eh, chat? Hey, turns out discarding stuff is actually cool and good. Oh, you're right. This is the boss that only gives me one hand. I uh, I uh, non-bow comboed myself. Interesting. I should ditch this. It's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. I did... Uh, Fundamentally misunderstand which boss I was about to play. No, 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 no. This is actually good because it lets me play more cards with the hiker. That was not my plan. That was not my strategy. Can I reroll boss ante? I did not get that. No. Wait, did I buy that? I can. I, I don't think that's ten. I don't. I don't think that's worth. That's fine. It's fine. Ace. What's a guy got to do to get an ace around here? My goodness. I only get one hand. Yeah. That's too bad. This would have been kind of cool to try. But I'd like to not die. Uh, welcome to the club. The chariot. That's four of a kind. Four of a kind, and there's a club in hand. So that's base 900. Plus, these are all eights. So, uh, 8 times 4 is 32. So, that's 122 times 10. 
122 times 14, 122 times 18, 172 times 25, 172 times 25. Hike replies for the future one. Okay. Didn't make us any better. Well, this is the best I got. Oh, I forgot the 1.5 times 1.5 times multiplier. All right, never mind. We got there. <laughs> I was never worried. I'd like more aces, please. Can I have more aces? Can I have a death card? Cool. <laughs> Turns out all I have to do is ask. Can I have another ace? What? Let's greet a little. There's one thing about me, and I think everybody would agree to this, is I'm just not greedy enough. <laughs> oh man, all our face cards are debuffed. Oh no. What are we gonna do, chat? This is unbelievable. Runs over. I'm like kind of thinking about this wild card, but no. Ace is, ace is not a face card. Face cards have faces on them. An ace does not have a face on it. That's how you can tell. See? Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking, chat. Fibonacci's so good here. Can't spell face without ace. That is... You know what? I didn't think of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I... I uh, what flavor of rock are you on, chat? So we got plain rock. We got rock in all kinds of different flavors here. Try rock or rock with chip <laughs> or for a limited time only shiny rock. <laughs> Foil rock is delicious. You're going to break your teeth. Thinking about this seven just because it's another steel card. Don't know if I want this or not. I'm going to think about it for another round. All right. Where are my aces, please? And thank you. Oh, the sun. I feel like I kind of whiffed there. I feel like my discards were bad. Maybe this is still fine. The other thought is I could make this a flush. One of the early challenges made you a rock lover. I have mixed feelings about rock. 
I was actually thinking as I looked at it that like, maybe at some point I'll find a time when Rock is good and everybody's like, Rock is nuts in the two pair deck. I'm like two pair seems weird as well as a thing to try and scale. Turns out starting with a legendary Joker, Joker makes the run long and good. You made it to anti-12 with a 9.4 million high hand. That's wild. Good for you. Do I buy rerolls being cheaper? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'm going to buy both of these packs though. There's those pants, which are key for the two pair. Uh, even then, it doesn't feel like it scales that hard. Oh, another ace. There we go. Wait, I get two of them. What's the other Fibonacci card? The five? Do I want another five? I've already got five fives. Sure. Chat. I don't want you to be alarmed, but I need you to know that all of our face cards are currently debuffed. I'm going to re-roll into Fibonacci cards here. Wait, five is a Fibonacci, but now I want to discard it. What do I do? Oh, it came back. Unfortunate. Uh, I can just full house this though. And that's all Fibonacci. Seven is not a Fibonacci. Neat. I think we did it. <laughs> How does the hiker work with duplicating the card? Uh, duplicate, I believe, duplicates every value. Hey, look, it came back. See, this is one I'll instantly get. Wasteful is wild. <clears throat> no hesitation there. I'm pretty sure it copies everything. So if it's got like permanent plus X on it, like the extra chips, I think that'll be very good. Mega Tarot. Challenging not being able to use our face cards, but we pulled through. Thank you. I'm so brave. I get to choose two, huh? I'll take the money. And as always, I'm sorry, chat. I'm weak. I Lucky aces. There's just something about the way I like to play this game. That lucky aces makes me so happy. <gasps> Death. So four is not a Fibonacci. Uh, let's let's spread these out a little here. Actually, what's my distribution? Yeah, I could use a couple more spades. Or I could just go all hearts, sure. What does Hiker... Wait, how does Hiker work with duplicates of cards? Uh, every time you play a card, you put four chips on it. So I don't know what you mean by duplicates. Oh, I still have the Golden Joker. I'm still just making like four bucks per round. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> I just realized I could be getting stronger. Uh, am I ever going to get an ace? No, I'm not. All spades are debuffed. I mean, wait, I do have cards to try and discard, so I could, how are these going, if I just get, oh, I wasn't paying attention to anything <laughs> reading chat. All right, my hand did fine. Hand was kind of fire there. Gain 0.2 multiplier per enhanced card played. 
but removes the enhancement. No. <laughs> no? I don't like that. Oh, maybe if you had like Midas early? Yeah, you know what? Actually, you combo that with Midas? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. All right, I got you now. I don't believe uh, Hiker is, a, is an enhancement. Unfortunately. It'd be kind of sick though. I'm going to take a two pair here just to make our bad hand slightly better. <laughs> it's one of the ones that I want to discard. That's fine. Man, ride the bus uh, slowly trekking up there. get another ace in this deck we're gonna get rid of a six because it's not a Fibonacci card is there some merit in using bad hands to scale bus more maybe it's a good question Spades are debuffed. Oh, well, that two I just grabbed does nothing. Oh, wait, no, that was a club. <sighs> no, it was a spade, wasn't it? Dang. Hello? All right. All right. Good fight. Ten four, big buddy. I have five tens, but only three fours. So we have ten four Fibonacci and aces. No, I think we're just all in on aces. I have enough money to buy this. This is our fifth time, I think. Love the ten four though. Ooh, another death. You know what that means? My God, it's another ace. Apparently, 10 blanks gets you a special unlock. Playing a full house gives you $0. Man, it doesn't give you, takes $0. All right, I need to level up another hand here. You're right, maybe I'm supposed to keep those aces and just play like a two pair or something like that, get a little bit more value out of Ride the Bus. 
I just love money, though. Sorry, I know it sets me to zero when I said that. Yeah. Full house bad. It's a good thing I don't play full houses all the time, right, chat? Wait, what are these? Gain three molts anytime you open and skip a boosty. You know what? I think it might be time for you to go. What do you think is better? It's definitely not the spades or clubs, right? Because that's impossible. What up, Jackie? I mean, it's already holographic. It's times 10. It's going to probably pass ride the bus in like a second. It's like too late for me to switch to this though, right? I skip boosties all the time, especially these. Crap. <laughs> I... Crap. All right, ignore ignore that. I skip them all the time. Oh wait, crap, I took full house again. <laughs> I'm supposed to not take full house. Well, that's not true. Uh, I just need to level up my other hand so I can actually beat this boss. Because if I play a full house, it takes all my money away. Oh, look, the exciting one is this. All cards are face cards. Well, that seems bad. It seems really bad with ride the bus, you know? All right, what else am I going to play? None of these. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. It's fine. It's a 16 times multiplier. We're, we're, we're in fine shape. See, what I can do instead, what I can do instead here is we don't like sevens with the Fibonacci, right? Oh, here, we're asking, do the extra chips count? Yeah, that got copied. So let's play four of a kind, right? Four of a kind of hearts with a multiplier. Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I get five of a kind? Is it bad with Ride the Bus? All cards are face cards. So if you play any face card, um, Ride the Bus would get reset. So yeah, that would be a non-bow. All right, I think we won. I think we got there. GG. Yeah, Ride the Bus says no face cards. Uh, the one that makes everything a face card is, is a pretty hard non-bow. What is this voucher? Reroll boss blind unlimited times. $10 per roll. Reroll boss blind ones of times. I'm going to buy this just to see if we can upgrade our jokers. If I skip twice, does this count as two skips? Well, this is another good scaling one. This is probably one of my favorite common jokers. I love Fortune Teller. Riff Raff is back. Oh, 
Fortune Teller goes counter to red card. I know. And I think I'm going to take more Taros than I am going to skip them. This is worth 16, though. This is worth 14 currently. This one scales harder because you do get the plus three to it. So the question is, do I still care about the Hiker? Thank you so much, sweetie. I think we're going to get rid of Hiker now that we're on anti-7, yeah? I think it did a good job for us in the meantime. So let's buy this, and then let's skip. And now we get both of these. Now we get value either way. It's not that they non-bow, it's that they're best friends. Wow. Can you believe that? And we're going to put a multiplier on one of them. Big flex. What? Sorry. I... I never miss. I never miss. Joe, Joe, I missed, sweetie. Oh my God, she's so cute. She's like, oh yeah, yeah, well I missed you while you were gone. And now my heart hurts. The sun. What if I just played another full house? What do, you, what do you think, chat? I can make it a flush house just to make something different happen. Look, now it's new and exciting. Hey, the card died. Sick. Sir doesn't know what a synergy is. Can't even spell synergy. Hey, Nega Joker. I buy every Nega Joker, even if it's not good. I might be able to get a straight sometime in my life. Wait, did I make it so it's impossible? It's extremely unlikely. It's a free 20 chips? Yeah. Twenty-one bucks. I do like money. I do like flush houses. So this one is actually kind of neat because it gives me double duty. I have one more turn to decide if I want to buy this or not. I already have one reroll. I don't think I need two rerolls. I developed an allergy to synergies while I was working in tech. It's true though. Those buzz buzzwords were flying around so much. Oh, that's a good hit considering the Empress and Justice. I don't want to make that glass because I'm not going to play it. Uh... <laughs> so if I just play three of a kind, I get this, which is very funny. Or... Oh, I think that might be better. <clears throat> sure. Can I get a rundown of the game? I It's poker meets Calvin Ball. That's it. It starts with poker. You're basically trying to fight a hand. You're trying to make a score that beats this. Wow, I missed by like an number. Fascinating. We'll be starting a new run pretty quick. So. All right, I want the six to die. You start with a poker deck and then you start adding tarot cards. You start adding galaxy stuff. You start doing like, you basically, you start cheating. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Spectral. I mean, I might be able to get more aces out of Spectral. Destroy a random card in your hand. Get three face cards. I refuse. Add a blue seal to something. Maybe I get a free planet. Sure. Perfectly normal poker. It's true. Skip. <gasps> All right. The wheel. The only one stopping you from cheating is yourself. It's true. It's true, though. Uh, this is another two. Less than a seven. To the right means it's... Oh, this is actually really hard to tell because they're moving so fast. I don't care about fours or sevens. Hey, look, another full house. Wow. Full House Jaeger strikes again, Twitch chat. I'm going to play this right now. And then look at that. We're leveling up our Ride the Bus. Just like you wanted. I play five of a kind aces. My deck is way better when I just play aces. I should just do that more often. Thoughts? <gasps> we get to skip. Simply play aces one head. <laughs> Dang. One of Jokers is disabled. I think that's okay. Uh, what am I looking at here? Sure, I'll play this five of a kind for free planet. I should just play five of a kind aces every time. What do you think? Thoughts? I mean, that's not even that busted. Ace Joker is kind of meh. I mean, 20 chips and a 4x multiplier is not bad. It's not nothing. Because it's per card, right? So if I play five aces, that's plus 100 and plus 20 multiplier, which is not nothing. Come on. <gasps> we did it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? That was such a big hit. We're going to do it again. You ready? You ready? That's so huge. Actually so huge. <laughs> the chariot. Never lucky. It's true though. I guess I gotta try to roll for a three to get a straight. Maybe to level up our runner. But I don't know if it matters that much. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Ah, oh, we're in the final round. Again. Really, really, really great card. We just got it too late. Maybe there's a Nega Joker. Oh, we get plus three. Shaman isn't retroactive. I know, right? I'm going to hit this again. It's fine. Wow, we're like one for eight today on those. All right, everybody. Let's see how we do here. You know what? Of all the jokers to lose, don't mind. Don't mind at all. Let's start with a full house. Eights and sevens. Wait, that was maybe not a great thing because then my, something else might get disabled here. Crap. <laughs> like that. GG. You know what? I still don't think this was interesting enough to go for an endless. So we're just going to keep unlocking stuff. That was fun, though. All right. That's our fourth unlock today. Checkered. Start the deck with 26 spades and 26 hearts. Sure. Flush gang. Y'all ready? No clubs or diamonds in the starting deck? Correct. Was that plus three blind permanent? No. No, 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 no. When you, when you see stuff like that, it's just for uh, the next round. That'd be so busted otherwise. Oh my God. You get a nine card hand, you could literally never fail to get a flush. That's very funny. Each discarded nine changes every round. I... I'm going to go for some early econ here. I'm going to ignore the Mega Tarot because I feel like this is actually kind of a strong deck. Oh, it wants me to discard nines. Uh, yeah. So we got nine extra dollars from that. Love to see it. 22. This is going to give us so much value. This is going to give us so much value. Overstock is cracked. Death. So I think I want to keep the card distribution the same. I just want to level up low cards into high cards. Um, or do I? I'm going to go fight the boss. I need something that makes us a little bit stronger. Because currently I just have this. Uh, let's take... Let's buy this. This is just, just to get through the boss. There. There. You want me to discard sevens? I don't think this one shots the boss, so it's fine. But I'm playing a pair, so I get plus 50. 
And now we find some sevens. Now we find some sevens. No! <laughs> Contains a pair. Interesting. Uh, Want to discard aces. Yeah, 10 mult is 10 mult, but not for $9. That's my thought, right? Most jokers are cheaper than that. This is the guaranteed flush. No, that's plus one hands, not plus one card. Permanently gain plus one hand per round. So that allows us to uh, play more. Or if we win faster, gives us one gold per round. I'm going to buy it though. All clubs are discarded. You know what? I accept. So I'm going to play and then I'm actually going to skip. Maybe? How much money is that worth? Ah, it's worth a lot. Yeah. Play skip. Discard aces. Feels weird. But that made me six bucks. I accept. Yeah, and we have the extra card, right? Because of the uh, the ticket we bought or whatever it's called. So. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, plus one for every diamond. I don't know. I'm going to buy these two, by the way. Uh, just for a free multiplier. Why didn't I use that? There we go. Now we're a little less likely to die. And we're going to... Um, go straight to the boss here. Now what do they want me to discard? Discard nines. Okay. Okay. I know my clubs, I know. It's like that last round when they took away my face cards. This game is just deliberately making things hard for us and I need somebody to get the developer on the phone for me. This is unacceptable. Well. Well, well, well. Anybody say Econ Run again? We're going to grab this, we're going to sell it, and we're going to take this rare. Ace with a dollar I do? Yeah. Wait. I almost panicked for a second and realized I may have uh, grabbed the wrong thingy. But we're fine. We're fine. I wonder what the EV of playing high card hands of five that don't win to draw more rebate cards 
draw more rebate cards. Oh, to really try and milk it? It's interesting for sure. Uh, let's discard all of our hearts here. Because it wants me to get rid of the ace, so. Contains a pair. All right, we're going to discard one of these and play the other. I mean, it's literally the same. So I'm going to discard both. Uh, that's worth more because it has a pair. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Hey. Hey, we're strong. Are we going to harden the pairs? No, we're playing flushes. <laughs> All we care about is flushes like this. But turns out flushes can have a lot of pairs in them. All cards previously played are discard. Did. Uh, discard every three. No. I hit it too late. So it does mean I'm less likely to want to do straight flushes. Just because of the, the pair synergy at the end here. Uh, we can get rid of the Sly Joker, honestly. Sly Joker could be upgraded. Well, well, well. Look who came back. I mean, I have pretty good multiplier. Maybe I do need that because I don't have a good chip. A good chip placer. At the very least, these aren't any better. I'm like really hesitant to add more cards to this deck. I don't know what I want to do to make it better, you know? I think maybe I'm just supposed to upgrade load cards into high cards. So I just want like death and card destroys. Which means I probably don't want to add anything to the deck. Discard aces. All right. Oh, the other one was, was uh, disabled, so it did nothing. All right, let's just play a... Nope, I don't have a pair, so that's bad. There we go. Go for enhancement, but like, again, also, what am I going to enhance? Just random high cards? Has the word flush in it. What's this? When blind is selected, destroy the joker to the right and permanently add double its cell value to this multiplier. Hey, plus one hand size. That voucher though. Yeah, no kidding. The Fool. I don't really want straight flushes because I don't get pair value out of it, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, full house is doable. A friend of mine just breached scientific notation for Bellatro. I have fear of the upper bounds of this game. Oh, wait. Hold on. Like, they got such high numbers. Oh, wow. Really? That's cool as heck. All right, I want to discard eights. So... Six dollar dues. Oh, y'all. I mean, we had our first royal flush. That's kind of that's kind of legit, but all right, that's 180 times 14. I mean, 
We lose the 2x multiplier. Whatever. It's still sweet. I think it was still good. <laughs> still good. Ooh. Ooh. So I think that's better than Sly Joker by a mile. Do I try and turn everything into a spade? I think I like the 50-50 split. I don't think I want to mess with that ratio, you know? I think that's a bad idea. Two potential jokers. So I would replace mail and rebate and I would replace abstract joker. And I would potentially lose. I think my EV on playing this is 14 gold. So are two random jokers better than 14 gold? Is the question we're asking ourselves. I think the answer is maybe. Sell this card to get a free double tank. Uh oh. Retrigger all held in hand abilities. I mean, that's kind of cool, but not for this deck. Uh no, this was a this was a swing and a miss. The diet cola is kind of interesting, like. Diet tag or double tag can be kind of powerful, but no. Oof. Oof. All right, what are we discarding? We're discarding fives. Diet Cola could have been a tarot, but was maybe too powerful. Interesting. We got, what, uh, six gold out of that? I think. Oh, what's this? What's this? Retriggers all played face cards with a 1.5x multiplier. What do you think, y'all? Is it time? Good replace the, replace the pair thing? Well, this one is good. This is the good... I don't know. I do tend to play a lot of face cards. Yeah, I think we get rid of abstract. We buy this. It's also meta progress. Well, we did say we want to eventually turn everything into a face card. I didn't say that exactly, but we wanted to move stuff up higher. Yeah, like this, right? It's like two cards. What we want to do is we want to keep the ratio of spades and spades and hearts to heart the same. And so do stuff like this. Right? All right, chat, do you believe? Do you believe the heart and the cards? One for nine. Hey, what up, Heron? Good to see you, friend. Oh! It also adds chips now. Foily duo. Spin the Wheel of Fortune ten times in a row. Amazing. It does sound like something I like to do. Ooh, ooh, wee. All right, okay. Uh, all diamonds are debuffed. Uh, <laughs> hey, 
Hey chat, you want two free Nega Jokers with eighty-two dollar dues? Wait, all diamonds are debuffed. This is terrible news. I would like a hearts, please, or pardon me, I'd like some spades, please. I mean, I'm just, I'm supposed to just play this, right? Like, I'm not supposed to discard all of my hearts. Oops, I won. Have you never played this game yet? The proper nouns being thrown around are kind of wild, especially when I'm so good at speaking English. Oh, oh, these are both bad. Wait, copies the ability of the Joker to its right. Incredible. I mean, I still buy it. Oh, I got a death too. This is unbelievable. So copy the Joker to the right. Uh, it doesn't copy polychrome. Okay, I wanted to copy faces. What is negative? So normally you can only have five jokers. Um, but we now have seven because negative gives you, it says right there over the zero, plus one joker slot. So it's basically an extra joker. Oh, give me a second. My screen's going to flash black for a second. I'm going to move this down just a little. Is that better? Yes. You can see all the info now. Uh, Reroll the boss fight. Sure. Uh, there are some bosses that just hose us. So we're going to take that and never fight them. You can move it between hands. Yes, you can. Uh, discard eights. All right. There you go. My spades are definitely stronger than my hearts. Isn't multi multi better than re trigger? Eh, seems okay. Ten four, good buddy. So, starting to get some enhancements is probably really important. Has the word flush in it. Big fan of walkie-talkie, I don't think in this deck. Discard for every five, all right. So it's not a flush. Oh, it is a flush. Incredible. Uh... Nice. Wait, what am I discarding? I'm discarding fives. Sick. Another three bucks. Let's go. How come I didn't win on my first hand? That's a very good question. I don't know. It's probably a bug. It's okay, I got there. Uh, I didn't win because hearts are weaker than uh, spades currently, but that's fine. <gasps> no, my beloved, the Vagabond. A hey, abstract came back. I don't see an abstract joker, by the way. I see a rooster. I see like a, like a bird that's its eye and its beak and it's like poking through a branch. That's what I see.
Full health Jaeger. I probably need to get a full flush so I can start leveling that up, you know? You see a snowman's head? You see a snowman's head with a carrot and a scarf. You see the snowman like there? The head is in the middle. It's melting. You had the steel joker with 14 steels. Okay, yeah, that's pretty broken. That's pretty strong. You see a swimming bird. Hmm. One hand. All right, so it has to be spades. Uh, discard threes, I accept. I got most of what I need for royal flush here. I have a royal flush. So royal flush negates this. So I don't get the dual multiplier. You're on team rooster. Thank you. So I wonder if I die if I play this. I really don't want to do the math because I'm tired. So I get... All right, 220 times 17. What is that number? What is that number? What are, what are we starting with, chat? Just so I have some, uh, some understanding. Like 4,000 or something like that? That's uh, 3,740. All right, so 220 times 17 plus uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, I'm going to ignore the one. So 270 times 17. If I do one more discard, I get a 5th time 15 multiplier. Okay. 270 times 17. 270 times 32. 270. What am I adding to this? 14. So 270 times 48. Uh, 270 times 68. I forgot the 1.5. This multiplies before a lot of that stuff. Whatever. Let's just keep going. Uh, and then I get a re-trigger on these three times. So that's times another 12 multipliers. Uh, wait. If a heart's straight flush scored 29k, why am I mathing? Because I couldn't remember that. All right, I'm, I'm just fine. I'm just going to... You're, you're going to say this is good enough? Well, the, the other question was maybe I have to play the ace, or pardon me, the ace instead of the 10 to get the 2x multiplier from the duo. All right, it was close. You're above 20k at that point? All right, thank you. Barely made it. I was scared. We're going to hold on to stuff here just in case. Might be about time for us to get rid of the mail and rebate, but we'll, we'll get there later. I haven't found anything. I haven't found a worthy replacement. It was a nail biter. Thank you. Uh, we're going to play and then maybe skip this. Play only one hand type. I think we're going to have to go with the flush. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't love spectral. I do love mega buffoon. It might be time to get rid of mail and rebate. I said that already. All right, what are we ditching? We are ditching tens.
Ah, uh, what do we got? If we play the pair there, that works. What's my second Joker from the right? This one? Sock and Buskin? Retrigger all face cards. Cool. All right, looking for the word flush. If it says the word flush, I like it. What? Is there ever a point where I maybe move the double up next to the discard one? Ah. Uh, there's probably like moving around blueprint to get like more out of Wrathful Joker if we don't have face cards or maybe the 15. Boots? Boots is, um, hundred divided by five is 20. That's plus 40 molts right now from the boots, right? <laughs> like, uh, maybe this only really matters if it synergizes with the, uh, the spades, you know? Trading card is so good. Hey, do you want to get rid of mail-in rebate and start literally destroying the lowest cards in our deck? Mail-in rebate's really... Or, pardon me, trading card is really strong. We just start burning twos and threes. It does cost us one full discard. You think it... I mean, we're on anti-7. If we're on anti-1, we grab a trading card's incredible, Matt. It is very, very good. D Trading card and DNA are like my two favorite cards, Matt. Oh, you are just playing them wrong. Yeah. Your best tech was a DNA. Take that back. Agreed. Uh, I think I'm skipping here. Uh, just cause, I mean, something I could do, I could sell mail and rebate, right? And then I could take this just so that we have it. And then I could sell it and I could take this. You know what? Let's do it. DM, I do that. We're going to get some meta progress here. And now we got this rare card. I don't know if we're ever going to play a four of a kind, but here we are. So getting a getting all hearts here is extremely awkward. We're going to move it over here this time. Wait, no. We're going to do... Shoot. This also has a, a poly... Uh, ugh. ugh. <laughs> what am I doing? No, I'm moving stuff around wrong. There. I don't want to have to get into this level of micro, though. That's just, like, not interesting to me. I don't have a pair, so this does nothing. Can I play this with a pair? I think this makes the hand stronger, even though I, I lose the 1.5 times multiplier. Just because this one applies later. Let's see, watch. So that applied then. That 1.5 applied. Oh, I won. Never mind. <laughs> you 
You think the copy joker needs to move one to the right? Uh, I move it around basically wherever I want. So we'll figure it out. I normally like this. This makes me happy. And then that goes there. There you go. This is the perfect layout. If you disagree, I don't know what to tell you. Ooh, pick one. Uh, let's start getting some multipliers on our cards here. Very large blind. That's that's the challenge, eh? I have a straight flush. All right, so straight flush is 220 times 17. Flush flush is 95 times 12, but that activates the double multiplier. This is where I just don't understand, right? I don't, I don't. This triggers face cards more. I'm going to, I'm just going to assume that this is better. Okay. Let's just do that again. Yeah, the base and multipliers are deceptive. I really wish this game had an in-game like in calculator. Oh, no. Well, heck. Oh, no. I think my spades are still better than my hearts. So, like, this doesn't fundamentally change my deck. It just means I can play either. And this does nothing, so I'm just going to buy it. All right, so now it doesn't matter. Now it literally doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, what's up, kids? Y'all, I'm so happy today. I get my stitches out. And you have... I mean, some of you who saw me at the Magic Convention will have some understanding of how disruptive these stitches were for me. I cannot wait to get these stitches removed. Holy moly. I get my stitches removed and I've got, I want to say 20, no 20 is not the right word. There's like giga snow waiting for me in the mountains. Very excited. Am I feeling better? No, because I have stitches in me. <laughs> The worst part about the stitches is every time I try and move, they feel all tight and all pulley and all bunchy. They're very, very unpleasant. Ah, uh, I don't like this. Because I don't want flushes. I want other better things to come. Uh, played faces give a 4x multiplier. Nah. Maybe there's a better joker. Let's find out. It's so late to get Constellation. It's so late to get Constellation. Even with Endless, we don't have enough time. I might, I might want to try this one a little bit Endless. We'll see. Have I thought about opening Constellation before round eight? I don't know. I don't know, seems kind of greedy. Very big wall. 
You hear that, chat? Very big. I mean, I think I lead with this right now. Because that's already pretty strong. And I keep two discards. And it's got three faces. So... The reason I like this is these get to like triple trigger so many times. Halfway there. Whoa, ho. Living on a prayer. Final discard. Nice. What if I play this in case I miss? Literally one point difference. I don't know, chat. What do you think? Has this got, uh, has this got endless energy to you? It doesn't feel that busted, if I'm honest. It just doesn't feel that that busted. It doesn't feel that strong. It's a cool deck, and we win. If you start making wild cards, it'll trigger both. That's interesting. Yeah, this doesn't feel endless. All right. We keep making more progress. By the way, look at this. So this is all of our unlock progress so far. How cool is that? Oh, the Zodiac. A start with Overstock. Well, well, well. All right, let's give it a go. Shop has a guaranteed rare Joker. Next shop has a Polychrome. I don't think I can afford a rare Joker. Because we're going to come out of it with... Um, Probably between, I think our expected outcome of the first one is like $4.5. Or, pardon me, 8.5, right? It's not a lot. Maybe, like, sometimes 8, sometimes 9, very rarely 10. And the other issue is if we skip here, we have to play this. So our we're probably closer to like 7.5 expected money. You're also less likely to have shops, uh, jokers. Well, the, the way the tags work is when you get one, it will be rare, right? So, and you'll get a joker. We have three. You've done double skip before. The issue, though, with the double skip is where do you have any money to buy the stuff, right? Because uh, rare and polychrome adds a multiplier multiplier on it. And I don't think this is a strong enough double skip. So I don't think... I don't think that's super relevant here. I think we just play it both. I think the... There's no description of the boss that we have. Yeah, I think with these vouchers, we just want money, and that's fine. Game kind of reminds you of Storybook Brawl. That's fair. Right. Suddenly looking around, being like, "What? What is this? What is this hand? What are these? What are these symbols?" Chat. <laughs> Full house. Full house. So rude. Can't believe they wouldn't give us a full house. Oof. Uh. Did I have a diamond flash? Sorry, I don't see diamonds. Are we dead? This is what I was talking about with uh, not coming out of this with a ton of money. The numbers. I know what the numbers mean. It's the symbols that are weird to me. Oh, Lord. Ooh, voucher.
I mean... I'm probably more likely to have to play a two pair than getting a full house. I think if I get a full house, I'm strong enough. See? Look at that. This is why they call me two pair Jaeger chat. Hello? I'm not gonna draw another ace. There we go. Full out Jaeger strikes again. So I'm not gonna be able to afford to buy this. I uh I messed up. Whatever. Let's kill this boss. What are we going to get? Hey, plain faces give a 4x multiplier. Love to see it. Goodbye forever voucher. Seed money is one of my favorites. I'm very sad. I have a straight here. Maybe I was just supposed to mull. <laughs> that cost me one dollar by playing that straight. More face cards. More jokers. Can't afford that. That makes me sad. Uh, I feel a little bit strong right now. That really bums me out. Let's try an econ a bit here. Next joker's holographic. Double tarot. Sure. Interesting. Uh, that should get me there because we're playing three face cards. Double tarot is double multipliers. Sure. But you lose money. I don't know. The first couple of rounds are so tough because like... That's very strong. All right. I think we're strong enough to take that now. Because like early jokers do such a huge part in sort of defining what your run is going to look like. That it's, it's really hard to... I don't know. There's a massive downside in skipping, right? Oh, this is very medium. Random Joker. Oh my god! Less random. Okay, this is... Okay, alright. I'm perked up. Hi. I'm here now. Oh, man. Alright, let's roll some dice, shall we? Incredible. Wait, oh, that's so bad before this boss? Ha 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 ha! So boss has a 2 in 7 chance of making our cards get drawn face down now. Oops, whoops. Alright, let's play this 2 pair here. Alright, so we know they're face cards because they're higher than the jack. And we think they're diamonds. So... Could be any of the diamonds. Um, that doesn't give us a lot of information here. So we're gonna do this two pair.
So diamond. That could be a... It's unlikely that that's a... I'm just going to play these. I have a feeling that there's going to be at least one pair. Let's go. I couldn't do a very good job of communicating my math there. It was kind of a kind of a hunch, kind of a vibe, you know. Four multiplier every time you do stuff. All right, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, let's get this last Joker here, shall we? What are we looking at? Come on, big money. I mean, <laughs> we got a direction. We are now a heart deck. Heart deck. All right. So normally I'd try and keep the money. Let's see if we can turn more stuff into hearts. <gasps> oh my God. What do you ditch? What do you ditch here? Maybe fortune teller? Fortune teller or smiley face? No, this is this gets kind of cracked. So this kind of scales forever. This is meh. So uh this is so hard. Is the dice doing anything? It could. It could be so cracked. You'd lose the die? Nah, you're out of your mind. This is the most fun one in the entire game. Gotta be smiley. I think it's gotta be smiley as well. So, one reason it's not smiley, one of the legends is you get a multiplier for every for every queen and king you play or something like that. Or is it if it stays in your deck? Yeah. Yeah, die and heart work well together. So if you're getting rid of die, heart does nothing. No, 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 no. I'm going to get rid of face. I'm going to get rid of face and let's see what we will get. Yorick! 5x multiplier only after using 23 discards. Okay. I've never seen this before. That's new to us. Alas, poor Yorick. So, is it using discards or discarding 23 cards? Using discards. Yikes. All right. Four of a kind. Uh-oh. Right, I still have to win. <laughs> yeah, we're basically... The only blinds we'll skip is if it's for negative one, but that's fine. So, we got... We're using four jokers for a while here, friends. Hey, look, Smiley came back. Ooh, death is back. Uh, we buy death, and then we go to the next round. Banana. That's four of a kind again. But what if it was... Wait. Shoot, my hearts don't have multipliers on them. Uh, you know what? Let's make it... Let's make it one of these anyways. Uh, well, we're going to make it one of these anyways, and then we'll eventually turn them all into hearts. All right? I tell you what. I tell you what. It just seems... I want to take the short-term power for now, you know? <laughs> I 
Prevents death. Oh my, oh my God. Uh, base chips and multipliers are halved. All right, let's see. Two spectral packs is very, very random. Add a negative to one of my jokers, minus one hand size. Were there any good jokers out there? I don't remember what was in the store. Minus one hand size is kind of devastating, though. Negative, so you can buy, prevent death? Death? Nah, buy and prevent. No, 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 no. No, we don't buy that. That's admitting defeat. I'm thinking incantation. We don't have any enhanced cards. And enhanced cards are going to help us win. Simply prevent death by winning. Thank you, PM Avers. I think I want to take ectoplasm. I think it's too greedy. I think we take incantation. Nice. You know what? That seems fine. I had a red seal. I wish I had a heart. I wish I had a heart that I'm going to care to play. Ah, I clarified after. A heart that I'm ever going to play. All right. Base value of everything is halved. Okay. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to one-shot this boss. So one of the things I'm thinking about is, do I play like a safe hand like this? It's only 120 points. That, that does nothing. So I think the answer is no. So this full house is interesting and possibly worth playing just to get some points. And I can discard stuff down. Don't worry, I'm going to use all my discards, Jet. I will use all of my discards. I think we just got to take him where we can, you know? Getting that jack now is really awkward. I'm going to play this jack by itself just to get the, um, the $3 reduce. Now, what do you think? Four of a kind or full house? That's 420. That is 160. All right, four of a kind. Good talk. Uh, we might be dead here. Sucks. <laughs> Boo! We need to get 1,700. Alas, poor Yorick. Yeah. Unless the heart of the cards. That wild card was anything else. It's kind of frustrating because I have four here. I think I just play these and we cross our fingers. Right? We have a we have a chance. We hit the 20 multiplier. No. <laughs> What do we hit? 
Oh yeah, Yorick. All right, let's try again. That was interesting. Man, Yorick, Yorick, Yorick though. The higher card Jack. I think the high card Jack absolutely killed us. Yeah. Full house, please. No, that's just a different two pair high. All right. Cool. It's so funny that some hands can just one shot this and other times you're like barely scraping by. Like, look at this. Like, high card is nothing. Ugh. Are we going to die on the first hand? Maybe. All right. Yeah, M Mulligan. Mulligan, everybody. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I, I didn't see a thing. So, yeah. Uh, where was I? High card Jack might have been a little greedy. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, I think we play skip and then see what happens. So like I look at stuff like this, and maybe maybe I'm supposed to go towards flushes. I don't know. Sure. That roguelike experience is sometimes you just die in the first room. Yeah, no kidding. Eight hearts that I could draw. I'll go for a uh, ace high or a flush draw. Nope. All right, ace it is. And then let's go for the flush draw again. Oh, I'm just barely out. All right, okay, good talk. Hi, everybody. Welcome to round two. Hey, Jokers. Oh, hi there, cutie. Make us a coffee? Thank you. Hey! Can't believe they gave us three taros. Potentially four. You know what I want this game on? I want this game on my phone. <laughs> right? Uh, we have access to a heart flush, but then I have to discard these, which is obviously wrong. So let's do this instead. All right, let's do this again. You think it'd be pretty fiddly? Would it? I don't know, you can play Slay the Spire on a touch screen, can't you? Oh, hands will not score unless I play five cards. Uh, good talk. Uh, maybe I should have played the Chariot there. Wait, you have it on the Switch? Oh. Oh. I was not aware that it was a Switch game. I played this wrong. I should have put that on that so I could play the uh, the King. I had no idea it came out on Switch. I absolutely would have stolen the Switch from Joe. <laughs> So I'm going to go for this ace high instead of playing the pair of nines. I don't know. Maybe that's wrong. This is where I always struggle in this game is it's not when things are going well, but when things are going poorly, like 
what are the outs that you play for? Oh, I'm discarding the, like, I bought this Joker and I'm doing a terrible job. Like, this seems kind of cool. So this is a full house, queens and twos. Or... I have this flush. Let's try the flush. I need to get multipliers on my low cards, I guess. So it's funny, this makes it the equivalent of a face. So, like, I guess that's good. I'm trying out different things. Let's try and econ a bit here. I think we're maybe strong enough to do something. I don't know. Uh, that's obviously a very good start. Full house aces and tens. Yes, please. Cool. Wait, I couldn't have used the switch anyways because of my stitched arm. Okay, never mind. Ooh, earn $8 if we fight the boss. Yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm going to buy that because it's going to pay me back. It might make me worse. Ugh. Interesting. But $8. Wait, that makes me one buck. That seems bad. All right, give me a second. I really have to pee. <laughs> I'm going to take a short bio break. Ooh. All right, I tell you what. I'm going to buy this. And then y'all can talk about the options. Be right back. All right, hello. What do we have access to? Talisman gives us a gold seal, money. Grim, destroy a random card in your hand to get two enhanced aces, love it. Purple seal or immolate, oh my God. What are we immolating? Left us with the faces. You know what, sure, you'd love to see it. All right. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> Earns $8 if the played hand triggers the boss blind ability. What are we facing here? Uh, you know what? That could make us some mad money. You're right. Let's give it a try. We're suddenly quite wealthy. Death. Kind of tempted to make this another K. 
king. All right. Uh, neat. Am I ever going to get four of a kind? I have six aces in my deck. It is doable. All right. So the boss ability triggered. Shouldn't I have made $14 from that? Hello? <laughs> Very disappointed. I feel lied to. So this was not worth buying. Oh well. Maybe I'll find absolutely nothing in the meantime. So this is interesting. Alright, so it is... Not a diamond. I think that's the Queen of Hearts. Because when we rotate it... Hold on. We have a low card here. So I think these are both hearts. I think that's the queen of hearts and I think that's something low of hearts. What happens if I play the face down ones? That does not make us money. That was for science chat. For science. So I can play this full house or I can play this flush. 35 times 4, 40 times 4. All right, we threw away 7 bucks, which means we actually threw away $8. Because what do we earn another dollar interest off of it? Incredible card. All right, we're doing okay. Uh, we will not be buying the vampire. I need to start getting a little bit of heart of planet cards going though. Okay, minus one hand size. So is this never going to trigger either chat? I think this is never gonna do anything for us either. Which makes me very sad. Boo! Looking bad for our hero over here, friends. Remember how I just said I was feeling strong? <laughs> we died. <laughs> uh, yikes. All right. You know what? This is a science round. Man, I am struggling with this telescope one. Do not like... The Zodiac deck, pardon me, uh, not the telescope one. Zodiac is uh, causing us to struggle here. Big struggle. All right, all spades are debuffed. Let's give it another try. Gonna go for a heart flush here. We have achieved a heart flush. You know what? Let's try and get a better one. That is a straight flush. 
Had problems with all. I'm just trying to unlock everything. I'm just kind of going left to right and uh, and seeing what happens. We've had some fun runs. We've had some strong runs, but we haven't had any like endless, completely busto runs yet. I mean, is this where I'm at with my life? Wasteful. All right, that was a little bit, a little bit hurtful, a little bit insulting. But you know what? Sure. Uh, you know what? Feel good about this whole flush thing that we were doing here. I've never hit one straight flush in my life, and now I've got two back to back. Fascinating. What if instead of interest, we had debt? Spades are debuffed. Well, well, well. Here, one sec. Hello again. Got there. Wait, had another discard? Cool. Probably should have uh, looked into that. Copies the Joker to your right. Does that mean I can go into minus 10? Hold on, actually. Uh, wait, please hold. You know, let's have some fun here. Oh man, I can't buy that though. Uh, permanently gain plus one discard. Uh, yes. I'm a little sad I can't buy both of these. All right. Uh, oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Who was the boss? Diamonds are debuffed. Oh, yeah. Well, my diamonds are forever. That is, sorry, that is a full house. I realize I have four discards, Chad. But sometimes when you're handed a full house, you just got to play the full house. I could uh, maybe do the, the diamond here. Got three diamonds. I want to see if we can't make face happen. <laughs> Vampire would be sick. Creates two copies of a selected card. 
So I don't want diamonds. All diamonds are debuffed. These aren't very exciting. Oh, this is new. Oh, <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Bones. Please, Mr. Bones was my father. <laughs> I have to play this so I don't die, which is kind of a shame. Does Mask only turn face cards into gold? Yes. But... You know? Oh, I should have bought the jumbo first. The jumbo spec whatever. Two pair here. Uh, I kind of want a flush draw. If I do that though, then I want to discard way more than this. I can just discard these three. Flush and straight are both strong. I also have a straight right now. Uh, Retrigger all cards in hand. This is the one I just bought. get that much money out of it because I don't have enough face cards yet, but we'll get there. More focusing on winning than like really maximizing minus value. I had a couple more discards, like maybe I could have tried to go a little bit deeper with that. hearts are debuffed. That's fine. Man, they keep trying to double my money, and I keep having negative 17 every time that happens. Uh... So, like, right? Like, this 
is a winnable hand, but then I only have one queen in hand, right? I make three bucks off it. I make six bucks off it because I have double face. We may have flown too close to the sun again, chat. I'm going to try and get a... Uh, um, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit spade flush. Ooh, I got 33 off that. We missed. It's very disappointing that we missed there. I've got this pair of fours. Well, oh, we do have Mr. Bones, but what happens? Wait, does it? Saved by Mr. Bones. All right, let's go. Thank you, Mr. Bones. You're right. I have like no multiplier or anything right now. We are so weak right now. Uh, have we been going for flushes? What have we been even been going for? None of my jokers do anything. All right. Let's try this whole flush thing. Double Arcana? No, let's play, because maybe we get a bunch of money. M maybe that's what's going to save us. Money. All right, we want a flush, which means we're going for hearts here. Do I ever replay the same seed? Nah. Like, there's plenty of other games. So the issue is, like, if you play a res uh, the same seed again... Is the assumption that you are using the information that you had before, like trying to make different decisions? Because I, I don't know. It feels kind of like cheating to me. Obviously, play the way you want to play the game. Sorry. Oh, come on. My thought process is like, if you have four information, what you're doing, you're it's influencing the decisions you're making. It's not teaching you the right lessons. You know what I mean? Like you don't, yeah. Uh, the other thing is it can teach you bad habits. Uh, I know this a lot from Slay the Spire. Uh, so here's the thought process, right? Like you play the same run over and over and you realize that through RNG, that if you had discarded a certain pattern of cards you or whatever, if you play in a different order, uh, you can win a fight that you would have otherwise lost, but that doesn't mean you played correctly, right? Like that is um, confirmation bias or something like that, or even in, in some cases like a survivorship bias. It doesn't teach you how to win the most amount of times. It teaches you how to win one particular run. And I don't, I don't think that's good if you're trying to get better at a game results oriented thinking yeah it's the same thing like mulliganing and in, in um in magic the gathering and looking at the top card of your deck it doesn't teach you if your mulligan is right or not because you, you don't know what the top card is it doesn't it doesn't change it your mulligan was either correct or it wasn't uh, i'm gonna buy both of these we get more face cards chat Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Uh, what is the boss I'm about to fight? Hearts are debuffed. Amazing. Hearts are debuffed. Do I ever want a seven of diamonds? I mean, I am going for flushes, so sure.
Flush man. Look at this. I'm most of the way. I'm most of the way to a flush already. Seems weird to discard a pair of aces, but here we are. So I don't want a multiplier on it because multiplier and gold are mutually exclusive. So I want to do this. Because it's going to turn that gold. Let's go. Hey, look at that. We're actually making some money now. Hearts, A. Eh? Oh my god, we're, we're positive money. Chat. <laughs> A rare joker and I go to zero dollars. Oh my god. Oh, that's not a... Uh, uh... <laughs> Do I ever want a straight? I don't know. I think I care more about flushes. I think I sell this. I think I'm going to sell this. And I'm going to take the seven or this heart, whatever. Because it's kind of interesting. Wild card. What's a small straight? I have no idea. What's a small straight? What's a small straight with you? All face cards are drawn face down. I need more steel cards, chat. I need more steel cards and more face synergies. Uh, did literally none of those trigger? <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, now we're cooking. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're so rich now, chat? Oh my god. <laughs> so, you know what? Now that we're out of debt, plus one hand size means we can hold more cards. Love that. Love that for me. Hey, how you doing, Picks? I have a... Club Flush. I'm just going to pretend that these don't mean anything, and I'm just going to play them. And if I get value, I get value. I think I'm putting too much... 
strain on the old brain by trying to make really good hands all the time. I don't know. Does that make sense? I still don't have any good like multipliers on my thingies. Wait, how did I get no value out of that? I've got diamonds. I've got three diamonds. I've got four diamonds. That's good. That's very good. So if that's the case, wait. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's also very good. That's excellent good. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it wasn't enough to win. Oh, buckets. <laughs> uh, okay, am I dead? I could do two pair here. Yeah, got there. So I'm really hoping to get something that synergizes with the blood face, which is why I haven't got rid of it yet. You're right. Like Midas, we could probably ditch. Uh, there's a card called Vampire that later on makes things like tremendously sick. And we obviously don't have that. But I don't want to die. All face cards are drawn face down. So I don't actually care about my faces that much other than flushes. So yeah, let's do this. Let's do this because we want to we wanna survive, right? Sometimes you just got to play a two pair. Just try and level up all of the hands so that whatever we end up having to play is fine. I'm having so much trouble trying to figure out what's happening here. I'm going to play this straight, though. All right. Good. Good talk.
So I don't know that if this is a low heart or a high club. Right? And I also don't know if this is a... No, no, no. They're all high. So if they're all high, that means this is a high club. This is a high heart. So I should do this. So that should be a flush with a yes. So if that's the case, let's do this. No, let's keep that as a backup. Let's do this and then we'll try and play a diamond flush after. Why are you saying no? It could be hearts or spades. They could be hearts or spades. You're right, it's not a guaranteed flush. Well, no, it's always in order. Ah, they could be, they could be jacks or hearts because the order is always jacks, hearts, club, spades. Okay. So now we know we have four. Oh my God. Did we seriously miss our club one every single time? No. We finally have a club flush. Oh my god. We're in a world of trouble here, chat. I don't know if I played this super poorly or if we just got incredibly unlucky. Like, not knowing what these are, right? Oh my goodness. Got two hands, I need 4,000 points. Oofa doofa. Uh, gently chat. Not looking for, not looking for too much play advice here. Ah, dang it, one was a king. All right. Heart of the cards. I think this is guaranteed to be a diamond. So I think this is a flush. But is it enough? <laughs> Man, that went so poorly. I mean, any fight you walk away from. All right. We did make it out. Wait, did I literally just one shot it? Oh my God. Okay, cool. Two times 20x multiplier. Yeah, cool game. Cool game. Uh, we finally have a multiplier here. This is big. And we are multi we are discarding a lot of stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to discard. I'm going to sell this. We're going to buy this. And we got some scaling now. We got some scaling, finally. Wants me to discard hearts, which is kind of an awkward start. But you know what? Here we are. I'll take the money. Oh! <laughs> Gains 1x multiplier when a face card is destroyed. Okay. Why 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Uh oh. I have so many jokers that <laughs> do absolutely nothing right now. So if I discard one, two, three, four, and then what am I building towards? I'm getting multipliers on this. That's fine. But that's also possibly my best hand. Nah, now nah, we're fine. I got two pair with this in hand. Okay. And a couple of these might multiply a couple times. All right. All right. Maybe we die. Maybe we die. Yo, I do not like the visuals of how high crotches looks. Oh, no. We just dead. Oh, we're not dead. We have one more hand. Let's go. I think we're just dead now. The two pair. Do I have a anything anywhere? I could do, we could just hope for the lucky seven again, eh, chat? Well. Nah. <laughs> All right, y'all. This was fun. Uh, do I have one more in me? I'm just like, I'm just beating my head. You know what? Let's do, let's stop playing the Zodiac. Let's stop playing the Zodiac. Let's get into a good old fashioned here, right? What's this? Requires, you know what? Sure. Should we try doing a higher difficulty? Or, no, 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 no. Let's just crush it. Challenges? No, thank you. I'm having fun. I have my own challenge. This is a refresher now. Minus one hand size. All right. Let's 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 see if we can't just have one where we crush a little. I just want to slay. Wait, I have three of a kind in hand already. What is three and a kind pipe? Three of a kind pays 90. That's not very good. I also have a straight. Straight is 120. Plus... 25, 40. 70 times 4 is 280. So it doesn't win by itself. If I can get a jack, maybe it does. Interesting. Unlucky. Maybe I'm supposed to play the straight there and leave the two kings. I don't know. Is it the return of full house Jaeger? Maybe. Maybe. Hey, look who came back to avenge themselves. Ooh. Let's start. He Let's start here. You want to have one Joker sometimes when you do spectral. The duo. All right. Discard hearts. Okay, we're going to go for a spade flush and discard all the hearts we can on the way. Wait, that is a straight flush. That is a higher straight flush. Straight flush Jaeger's back on the menu. <laughs> I said back on the menu. Uh, so as green, we do want to keep some of our discards, but whatever. Uh, 
All right, we're green, which means we're going to have lots of money. I am so tempted to buy both of these, but I think we're strong enough to win. So I'm just going to buy the clearance sale. Which, this is a hard shop, but I think I think that's the best one. Uh, we want to discard clubs. All right, what are we going for here? Uh, we're going to go for a hearts, heart flush. So I get a 2x multiplier. Interesting. So that does that non bows with our duo. Buy two gets me five, sure. Full House Jaeger. You're a sucker for the foil, the foil voucher? We got some time. Let's get trying. Oh, we don't have any interest on this character. All right. We're going to go. We're going to buy that coupon. Wait, if we do that, then we skip the boss. So we have to buy it immediately. All right. What am I discarding? I'm discarding clubs. All right. Uh, diamonds it is. Hearts it is. Oh, that just gives me chips. Thank you, sweetie. All right, so that's 34 times 4. Plus chips. That's 20 times 4 with the 2x multiplier. So this is 30, 50, 89 times 2. 89 times 4. Wow. I am... Um, Realizing I'm not necessarily... I thought this was uh, different <laughs> than it was. I think I've been going a little bit too all in on this particular uh, this particular Joker. Underestimating what I think it does. Or rather overestimating what I think it does. Yeesh. Uh-oh. Alright, we're going for... We need a, need a straight here. Come on, six. Oh. Okay, we're going to do a high card and hopefully draw into a diamond flush here. Oh, I think we win either way. Still, a little spooky. Yeah, I've been overvaluing this, especially because we're green chip, which means like our... Discards are worth something. Yeah, we need a multiplying joker somewhere. Yikes. All right, let's go back to the return of Full House Jaeger here. Uh, there's no interest, so there's no point in like holding on to my money. So, seems good. All right, we wanted to skip this. Am I strong enough to kill the boss? Almost certainly not. All right. <laughs> hey, give me a second. I need to take a quick bio break. I'll be right back.
Hi. All right, what do we have? Discard diamonds. Uh, we're going to do one discard here. And then we're going to go for this flush. And we're just going to try and win. Yikes. <laughs> All right, so we've already discarded a king and a queen, which means our chances of getting another pair with that are pretty low. So let's do this. Discard, 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 discard. Jack could potentially get us another pair. So let's go for something pair related now. There we go. So that should give us the Wily Joker and the duo. Well, that hand seemed better. I should just play full houses all the time, eh, chat? <laughs> like a pear tree? Like a partridge, pardon me? I am something of a partridge man myself. Uh, I don't want straight. I want to go towards pear payoffs now. Behold, the redemption arc of Full House Jaeger chat. All hearts are debuffed. Perfect. I want to discard them anyways. Shoot. They want me to discard clubs? <laughs> uh, I do have this heart. I do have this ace. What if I... What if I did this? I'm just trying to set up the Full House, you know? Ooh, please. I think that was worth, I don't know. It was a bit of an overkill, but maybe. Interesting. So this lets me level up the castle super duper quickly. And this is just a flat multiplier. So I'm gonna buy both of these. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. You know what? Pair and two pair sounds great. Hey, what up, Triple? How you doing? Smear could also enable some flush houses. Yes, absolutely. Discard black cards. So I want to go for the pair here. I have four aces that I could draw. There we go. Wait, aces and threes score slightly better? Uh, this is still fine. This is still fine. This should one shot. Yep. <laughs> yes. All right. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking, chat. Uh, I buy both of these, and then next run, next round, we buy. Yeah. Just more money, huh? Sure. I do love money. It's so weird, you know? Ooh, I get another ace. What else would I want to change here? These are all fours, so I would get rid of one of my numbers, but it would make me more likely 
Uh, is there something I can turn into a Fibonacci? Yeah, if I do this, it makes my Fibonacci better. I can just buy this right now. So something else that's very strong as well is uh, suddenly the Wrathful Joker works really well with Smeared. So I'm going to get rid of the Wily Joker here. Because uh, now 50% of my deck gives us a 4x multiplier. Discard Diamonds. Okay. Looking for another three or another ace. It's funny that we ditched the twos and then drew... <laughs> and then drew uh, another two. So, whatever. So it goes. Alright, feeling better now that I'm not all in on castle. Because that almost killed us. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to start getting some multipliers. Where were you? Where were you the other games? I want to start getting some multipliers on these, if possible. I'll buy one of these as a treat. Lucky Red Seal 7. Oh, man. If you were a Fibonacci card, you'd be so in. You can make it a Fibonacci? Yeah, but then I have to both... I don't know. That, that's an answer a lot of people say, but I feel like it's... I feel like it's so wishful thinking to be like, yeah, just draw that exact card once you draw the other thingy that makes it better. And you're like, I, gu I guess. This is a spade, but I'm always going to discard this. I don't know. I grabbed it anyways. I'm weak to lucky cards. Two is a Fibonacci. Yes, but I'm going to be discarding this. I do like free tarot's, but I'm not taking that because it's a Fibonacci. I'm taking it so I can discard it. Wait, I have none discards in this boss fight. Never mind. I'm very good at this game. I think the one thing for you all to remember is I'm very good at this game. Any, any, any questions? Any notes? I'm just going to high card here and hope we draw into something a little bit better. Getting there, getting better. Let's do one more bad hand, and then hopefully you draw another ace or another six. EZ. <laughs> How's everybody doing, by the way? Thank you so much for joining. It is always a pleasure to have you here in our cozy little corner of the internet. Hang d, -d, -d man. Simply destroy two cards that are not Fibonacci. Vibin, working on Joker unlocks. Amazing. Making plans to get down to your FLGS in the future. What does the F in FLGS stand for? Discard black cards. Okay. Oh, favorite or friendly? Interesting. Waiting impatiently for Rebirth to drop. What's Rebirth again? Is that the new Final Fantasy? Yikes. I guess I'm playing two pair here. Unlocks at midnight. Interesting. I'm I'm stoked at your psych that you're excited for that part of me. Yeah, I don't know. I have not caught the uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake bug, but not everything has to be for me, and that's okay. Pluto and straight. You know what? Sure. 
Got a boss with all cards are debuffed until you sell a Joker and I still won. Yeah, that final boss is neat. Like, hopefully by the end, you've got one that's a little redundant, you know? Just finished work. I'm gonna look at a wedding band with my fiance shortly. Ow, oh, I love that. You're waiting for the Final Fantasy VII remake to be completely done before you look into it. All right, true or false? Um, Final Fantasy VII remake enthusiasts are the games essentially standalone, or is it? Nah, like, keep on going or whatever. Try and get some more Full House stuff here. No, I should probably take at least one four of a kind. They are not standalone. Oh, really? But I imagine with the amount of time that's going between them, like, there might be giant disparate events. I don't know. Does that, does that make sense? I would worry that, you know, the first one was, what, four years ago? They might not even be on the same system when they're all released. Eight is a Fibonacci, 10 is not. Wow. Uh, I will play this because they're all Fibonacci's and it leaves me with three aces afterwards. You think of it like a multi-movie part? Yeah, but multi-movie parts normally come out a lot closer together than these video games are. All right, we got money now, chat. Ooh, is that a free discard? This makes us stronger and gives us more money as green trip. Oh, no. Y'all, spectral time. What do we got? Destroy one card. Add three enhanced faces. You know what? I'm okay with destroying. Wait. Creates a tarot card whenever it's discarded. Uh, don't blow up my ace. Nice. Sure. If I add another king. No, I probably want to add this queen. Just trying to make as many like stacked numbers as possible create two common jokers no thank you <laughs> i have 13 negative 13 after the boss please Help me budget. My family is starving. <laughs> We've had some fun runs today, but we haven't had anything like Mega Busto. And I don't know if that is my fault for building poorly or what. How are you feeling about the runs today, friends? They've been okay. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like I've been offered the really broken stuff. Or maybe I just haven't put myself in a position where I could take advantage of the really broken stuff. The runs have been fun, for sure. Mega Busto is pretty RNG reliant. That's fair. Like, we got two legendaries, and I don't want to say they were bad. But they certainly weren't great. You know? Like, we kept getting Constellation Joker on floor eight. You're like, okay. Harder to be busted the more stuff that you unlock. Right, we just keep adding more bad stuff to our deck. That's fair. Or, or just... The card pool. So it's interesting. Um, Brotato has this fascinating, like, invisible RNG manipulation that it does behind where it kind it wants you to have powerful stuff. And so if you have a straight synergy, the equivalent in Brotato would be it would give you more stuff 
in that direction. And they have a luck stat that you could work with. That also kind of nudges you there. So if I discard just this, I get three cards, which is kind of cool. The Chariot. I got this Diamond Flush. Uh, which is definitely not enough to win with. Maybe it is if I play this. It's a pretty good flush. It's pretty okay. Pretty flush-ish. Ah, the old three pair. Pretty sure I win with this. Number of times I pick Vagabond. Man, I've seen Vagabond once today. And that's like my favorite Joker. Looking at you, Yorick, yeah. I think my jokers are fine. I'm curious if something like Wrathful, but Wrathful synergizes so with Smeared. This is all fine. Yeah, the duo, it's all working. It's all working, right? The ever increasing power of Full House Jaeger. You feel like Joker rarity is exponentially more narrow? Interesting. This is a big old skip. I'll probably be re-rolling a little bit here. Loyalty card. Upgrade the level of the first discarded poker hand each round. That's just high card. Perkyo is best legend. Which is the legend that duplicates a consumable in your hand? Because I got that and it was absolutely cracked. Just, 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 goodness. I want to play the seven. But I'm not going to, which is kind of sad. I had that one with the uh, six-sided die and a hollow and the um, wheel of fortune in hand, so I had a two out of four chance to have wheel of fortune effect to my my <laughs> jokers. It was amazing. Speaking of which, wheel of fortune. Oh. Copies the Joker to the right. What do you think? What would you ditch? I kind of feel like everything's pretty essential right now. Goodbye, Wrathful. Wrathful and Smeared, though, means that Spades and Clubs both give me 4x multipliers, and that's kind of wild, right? Otherwise, I'm just getting value off of Fibonacci, and I feel like Wrathful is actually giving me more value than Fibonacci is. I don't know. What do you think? I got 28 black cards. The deck is perfectly even on both sides. Fibonacci's more consistent? Really? Double means you get twice the multiplier? Yes, that is what double means. <laughs> it's after 11. It's after 11. 
Yeah, but 4x multiplier only matters if you have a number that's worth multiplying, chat, right? Like, things don't work in tandem. So we don't have much in the way of chips. It's tough. It's tough. Want a negative. I'm very sad. Remember when we had a negative of the blueprint? That was great. That was cracked. That was very fun. If we die, it's on you, chat. This blood is on your hands. Ah, the old three pair. Love an ace or an eight, please. Thank you. All right, that was pretty good. <laughs> Discarded Jack. Oh my God. I've got five in my deck. Gain 0.5 every time you do it? That seems wild, right? Oh, it's only for the round. Right, 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 right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep, yeah, I see. I see. I see. I'm as disappointed as you are. It's a Fibonacci card. Oh, it's a diamond? I took a diamond into the diamond debuff round. Good job, Jaeger. Good job. All right, we don't want fours anyways. This is fine. I got a pair. So previously, this would have given us a 20x multiplier. Twitch chat. Twitch chat. Five and eight and two. Oh my. All right. See if I can't draw a five or an eight here. One five in my deck. Three eights. It's doable. It is, in fact, not doable. Got there. Uncapped multiplication gets scary. I mean, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> I was hoping for an absolutely cracked card, you know? Uh, my advice, never buy the magic trick. Putting playing cards in here feels so bad. You need to buy magic trick to get illusion. I don't know what that means. Magic trick is good with a joker that gives multiply for every card added to the deck. Maybe. Maybe. Everything is free. All face cards are drawn face down. That's fine. We're trying to move away from face cards, right? One, two, three. He says it was 13 face cards in his deck. I mean, that's... You start with 12, right? One, two, three, four... 
Yeah. All right. Not terrible. Queens are good if I'm looking for full houses, though. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> oh. I don't have any more discards. So rude. Four pairs? Yeesh. How's the arm doing? I should be getting the stitches out this afternoon, which is very hype. So basically, I'm going to finish this game. I'm going to take another COVID test just to be safe. And then I'm going to go to the drop-in clinic and uh, hopefully have my stitches removed with absolutely no downside. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We'll see. Man, having these stitches kind of messed me up, so I'm hoping it's very, very, very chill. Did I finally get that third arm installed? I don't need a third arm. I need myself cloned. That's where the, uh, that's where the real money's at. I don't want to add any more cards to my deck. I, in fact, want to be removing cards from my deck. Cool. <laughs> Get rid of the non-Fibonacci cards. Getting closer. Just need one of these to be a pair. We've not played this once, by the way. Got it in hand twice. It just was not worth taking. So maybe, yeah, I mean, I think that shows that even a card with potentially very high upside, if it doesn't synergize with what you're doing, it's just a dead card. You're so relieved once you had the stitches out after your surgery. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, wow. Permanent plus one. Recyclomancy. They do call me the Recyclomancer. It's true. All right, Tarot. Get some multipliers on our Fibonacci's here. One random joker disabled every turn. Uh, worth trading Smear for the eight? What was the eight? What did you see? I mean, this is just a full house. And we are green chip, so we get more money the sooner we end rounds. So if we can one shot, just get out, right? The eight ball? The play two eights and then get a, a card? Uh, no, I don't think so. But you're right, maybe, maybe Smear can go soon. This might replace Smear right now. Nope. <laughs> Yikes. So eight is like the two eight ball card or whatever. Nah, like, nah. Retrigger all held in hand abilities. Ooh, Odd Todd. How much overlap does Odd Todd have with Fibonacci? Ace 3 5 is pretty good. I think we might go to Smear now. 
I think doubling up on those cards is kind of huge. All right, goodbye, Smear. Suddenly, Odd Todd caring about my seven there. I mean... I mean... Look, we finally played the seven chat. Go on, 40 gold. Nothing. What a letdown. <laughs> uh. How many chips is Castle worth? 195. I'm just going to sell that. So I could play a flush here, which is kind of interesting. I lose a 4x multiplier, but I do get to double up on odd Todd stuff, which is kind of funny. You had a knight to king straight. Yeah, we don't care about that. It doesn't activate any of our stuff here. We're really trying to just play pairs um, because we get a 4x multiplier, like the good multiplier for pairs. So basically, like, flushes are normally out. I think this two pairs actually just better. Yeah, the weird thing about this game is just because you have a poker hand doesn't mean it's the highest scoring hand, right? You only need 7,000 points. Yep. And I got way more than that. You're not going to trick me into saying that you're right. Sorry, Cyber Egg. Better luck next time. <laughs> no, Fibonacci. Hello? An ace, please. Do I have any aces in this deck? <laughs> okay. Fibonacci's disabled. I also have Odd Todd. It's fine. We have some redundancy. Oops, I won. <laughs> you were saying? What was that about Fibonacci being disabled? We're gonna go an endless here, friends. Let's see how long we can go. This deck does not feel... I... I love this card. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Can we can we pivot into all oops all odds? Oh my god, I love that so much. These are both terrible. Good. Good. <gasps> Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. All right, fitty fitty. <laughs> I passed a death on that. I should have taken death. I should have taken death. I got baited. I got baited. Curse you, negative six-sided die. I got a death. All right, whatever. That's fine. Uh, let's play. So four is a bad card. Two is a good card. I'm going to hold this just to see if I can get this four out of my deck and turn it into something that is a good card. Uh, I can turn it into a five. 
which is both a Fibonacci and not a Fibonacci. So that hits both Odd Todd and Fibonacci here. The mathematician Fibonacci was born in the 1100s. Dang. Wait. It would have been better if they were born in the year 1,235. Can you, you get the joke? <laughs> Ooh. So, what if we get rid of the duo? The duo, old and tired. The trio. The trio. Wait, what if we had both? Ooh. Born 112358. I mean, if we're trying to make... I think we get rid of Castle. You know what, Castle? You carried for a while. I'm actually curious what's in here, just in case. All right, more card remove, please, and thank you. Ooh, I got more card remove. Uh, nobody likes eight. Ah, uh, Fibonacci likes eight. Nobody likes four. Nobody likes four. So... Eight is kind of cool, but I think we want to get more into the overlap of both Fibonacci and on Todd. Castle was more chips than on Todd. Interesting. Right, we kind of outscaled it. Well, on Todd can do 150. Oh yeah, Castle was better than that. Well, too late. Who told me? All right, chat, we need mods. Can you ban whoever it was who uh, who got me to betray the castle, our beloved castle? This is unbelievable. Didn't even think about that. I'm going to be honest. I often conflate Odd Todd with Even Steven and think that they're both multipliers. So. Blames Chad. Who else am I going to blame? Myself? Look, if y'all are going to backseat, you have to accept that I'm going to listen sometimes. And if I listen and I get it wrong, then it's on you, right? So like, I don't know. You can't have it both ways. You can't backseat and then also pretend to be blameless when I listen, right? Pick a lane. Pick a lane. <laughs> but you're perfect. No, 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 no. I'm perfect, and sometimes I listen to chat who are deeply flawed. You're beautiful, but you're deeply flawed, and you lead me astray. All right? Oh, DNA, my beloved. Joker, tarot, planet, and spectral cards may appear multiple times. Oh, we get duplicates. That's kind of cool. This is a Fibonacci Ace right here. And it both activates the double and the triple pair. I didn't realize Odd Todd was so bad. I actually feel bad about Odd Todd now. Earth. Wait. This is a very good one down here. Plus one hand size? Amazing. Legit amazing, actually. So, what do you think? Odd Todd or Scholar? We're not actually seeing that many aces. I think this is worse than just kind of playing into this synergy. It's just a, fl I don't know. It hits fewer cards. So it makes the aces better, but everything else gets worse. We should have kept our castle. Stonks. 
Uh, Todd for life. That's fair. Ooh, another negative joker. Let's go. All right, and the club is debuffed. Five of a kind. It's four fives. Five, four fives, you know, five of a kind. Whatever, I'm just going to play it. Most of your unlocks have been accidental. After a while, you kind of got to go, like, search them out to try and make it happen. We did not one-shot. Help. What do we do when we don't one-shot? Ooh, tarot. Seven? Dang. Three of a kind. Full house? I think I have to play the full house. death. <laughs> Wait, uh, this is actually really bad. Uh, maybe it's not actually. I could do strength and make this an ace and a five, which gives us another odd Todd and another Fibonacci. Yeah, I like that actually. Huh. Yes. Lucky, lucky. We're going to skip here. I want another negative joker. I believe we can beat the club. We're hitting like 500k hands, right? So, like, we already have a aces and fives, full house, Fibonacci, odd Todd, wombo combo. Oh, we didn't hit any of the procs. You failed me. Oops, all sixes. Yikes. Oh, I'm still short. Interesting. I could play a heart flush here just to play this. Let's see if we get something off the oops all sixes, right? Nope. It's dead to me. Oh my god, I might die here. Uh I've got three discards. All right, I could have discarded that, but I think it was worth it to not. There we go. Yeah, endless scales real fast, like real, real fast. Hi, cutie. All right, what do we get here? This Joker gains. Oh my God. We got a negative steel joker. That's actually huge. Not bad. Not bad. That is not a bad hit at all. That's like one of the excellent endgame scaling ones. Now, the only issue is I don't have a lot of steel yet. Yet. But we can get there. Didn't realize jokers could be steel. The Steel Joker can be steel. 
It's the Joker that cares about steel cards. Too bad we're dead on the next blind. Wow. Why so negative? Where's your sense of adventure? Ooh, it can be foil. Seven million? <laughs> hey, once again, one, two. Oh, I thought I had five pairs for a second. million per hand. You just gotta believe, Twitch chat. Mostly, I'm disappointed in you and not believing. Look, look at that. That was a million for our first hand. A million. Oh, man. Y'all were saying, you better lose your mind when we win this. All right. Creates a random joker. Oh my God. We need you to pop off so much right now. It missed every time. That, that lucky card did nada. That lucky card has done absolutely nothing for us every single time we have played it. All right, Odd Todd's only going to be worth 150 points. What do you think we sell it and we make a random joker? I have to try. I have to try. Obelisk. Multiplier per consecutive hand played without playing your most played poker hand. Well, it's worth 50, which is about what the previous one was. All right, haters. What now? What now? <laughs> oh. Non-believers. Oof, this is really bad. Hey, look, Supernova. Uh, that might actually be better than Obelisk here. <laughs> Joe's suddenly very confused why people are so excited about the egg. Alright, get a reroll. What are you? If it's a flush? No. What are you? Create a tarot card when blind is selected. Nope, one more. We still have the die. It's negative. If you're suggesting that we sell that. All right. Uh, I mean, we could skip and go straight to the boss. All spades are... No, no, no. Let's play this out. Let's play this out. How many eights in our deck? Four. Compared to fives and twos. All right, we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit something big off of this now. I feel like the six is never procked. Wow, missed again. Missed again. Feels bad. Wait, this is just a full Fibonacci, full house, full Bonacci, as I like to call it. Ooh. 
I wonder if that's better. Two pair with these 1.5 multipliers in hand. That's 100 times six, or like this has got to be better, right? The 315 times 26, just because of when these multiply. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, and it all comes down to this. We have the natural full Bonacci. GG, everybody. Hey, that was super fun. Y'all. Oh. What's this? Permanently gain plus one hand per round. Sick. Little piece of pizza right there. Good day. Fun day, everybody. Appreciate you hanging out. It's been a very nice welcome back today here on the channel. Uh, thank you for the very warm welcome. I've missed you all. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, probably with more of this. We're going to see how it feels. Uh, I do want to start playing Nightingale sometime soon, but I want to wait until my arm is recovered before I do that. And so the goal is to get uh, my stitches out this afternoon and we'll see what happens afterwards. All right, we're going to go raid Jorbs. Jorbs is playing Bellatro. I like Jorbs a lot. Um, he's very good at card games like this. Just a heads up, I tend to be very family friendly. He's great, but says bad words like butts. So just be aware that you might encounter that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.